platform and open mic. Oh. Why? Because I know oh, that you're I'm at work. Fun. You're gonna it's lurk. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I was still watching a video. Holy shit. Um, you're gonna. Okay. Okay. <laughs> thank you so much for lurking. Welcome, third. And thank you so much for lurking. I hope work goes well. Like the rest of work goes well. And everything is, is okay with you. I hope you're having a good day. Well, hello, everybody. My name is Phantom. <laughs> it is Phantom here. Welcome back to another stream. Today we're playing Genshin. I haven't opened the game yet because I'm going to open the game during streams now. Because why not? <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Um, I'm not sure if those people follow during stream or... Um, after stream except for one so I'm going to say thank you so much for the follow Skablitz and Ohana welcome to the show both of you I hope you enjoy yourselves here um I have new hotkeys now so I have more room to uh, do my hotkeys for everything else so I have a new jacket hotkey I have a new hotkey for my my mask I have a new hockey for the scenes it makes me easier in terms of access and also it's given me more options on my numpad to have as hotkeys hopefully um, I won't have too much to hotkey yeah <laughs> I don't know why I keep looking why do I keep looking down my eyes are doing the funny anyways um let me think i was uh excuse me i was looking through the vod for when i announced that when i had this little uh model debut and um i noticed that uh, the throwing redeem didn't make a sound and I realized that it's because the throw sound and the sound alerts are both attached to my desktop sound, so I can't uh, mute my uh, desktop sound or my sound uh, or uh, on on my just chatting. Otherwise, you guys won't be able to hear anything. So <laughs> I'm gonna keep those on from now on. Yeah, and those are gonna stay on. I need to fix the um, tracking really quick. It's really shaky on my left eye today. It's kind of weird. Hmm. Interesting. Anyways, so I'm gonna go into studio mode really quick and open the game and adjust some stuff so that everything is ready to go. You can hear what I'm doing, so it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's alright. It's alright. I'm just gonna do everything first, open the game, log in so that you don't see my email. <laughs> I should be logged into the I should be logged into the correct account is what I'm trying to say. Why do I keep looking down? Stop it. I'm still doing it. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not doing it when I'm, um, looking forward. Because if I am, that'd be quite a problem. Anyways, so I'm gonna open the game, change the hand, I'm gonna change, uh, this... to... Uh, this... Um... Oh, I didn't even turn on my spotlight. Give me a second. Ah, there we go. That's probably what was the problem. <laughs> I, I found the problem, guys. It's okay now. My eyes should be fine. Alright, then dynamic lighting. Change that. Um, turn off my stinger. Uh, turn... These off. Turn this one off. Osmanthus uh, wine tastes the same as I remember. Um, but I where are those who share this? Uh, Where are those 
Okay, that should be that should be everything. Yeah, that that should be everything? Question mark. Um, I hope. I hope that's everything. I'm just checking to make sure everything is done. And it's fine. Um, I may or may not have just made a mistake. Boats are made for transferring commodities back and forth. Oh, actually, yeah, it's fine. And those that fine. come across Lyra tend to stay a while. So it is where many things come to settle. I'll deal with those some other time. Uh, I'll, I'll probably deal with that off stream. Error. At some point. Oh, error? Error? Oh, Manfred's <laughs> wine tastes the same as I remember. Okay, so... But right. where are those who share... So that should be... Uh, is that everything? Uh... Okay, that should be everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. That should be everything. Um... Where do you want to okay, go let's next? turn off studio mode. If and you'd then... like to see Liyue's tourist spots, I have a few references. Ha! Aha! <laughs> Everything's working. Okay, so there is a... Oops. There is an event happening. This lovely thing. Oh! Oh, right. Happy White Day, everybody. I hope everyone's had their wonderful um, chocolates or marshmallows or sweet candy. If you haven't, then um, I'll be your candy. <laughs> I hope everyone's having a wonderful day so far. Return to... Oh, okay. Mm. Mm. Hang on. Wait, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> the Afro... To unlock... Okay. Do I not have that? Oh, yes, I do. There it is. We'll do this first, because this, this one's actually shorter time. Mm. Okay. Off into the races! Woo! Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I almost missed the timing. I could have accidentally killed them. Oops. Where are we going? Oh, we're meeting Jean. Okay. Hello? <sighs> Thank you for coming on such short notice, honorary knight. I know you must be busy. Very busy. We have to go back into the darkness at some point. Well, to make a long story short, there is a particular matter at hand that the Knights requires your assistance with. Okay, the Knights are busy as ever. <sighs> yes, it has been one thing after another recently. Mm -hmm. Neither myself nor any of the Mondstadt garrison are able to catch a moment of peace. Yikes. I have recently received multiple reports from the Knights of someone within the Lawrence clan having close dealings with the Fatui. Uh-oh. Again? That's not good. There was a dark period in Mondstadt's history when the aristocracy ruled over the city. The hard-won freedom that followed with the fall of Decarabian was lost once again as slavery spread throughout the land. The first Dandelion Knight, Vanessa, spearheaded the revolution that overthrew the old aristocratic system and established the Knights of Favonius, leading Mondstadt to become the city that you see today. In the city of freedom. The aristocrats that had oppressed the people of Mondstadt were none other than the Lawrence clan. Oh, Paimon gets it. So the clan's descendants are now scheming with the bad guys to carry out more dubious deeds. We suspect as much. 
Though we have yet to obtain any solid evidence, the reason I summoned you here today is to ask you to help us further investigate this matter. But why us? <sighs> Unfortunately, the Knights of Pavonius and the aristocracy have been at odds with one another for as long as I can remember. Of course. We've already considered every possible way of resolving our differences, but it seems the descendants of the aristocracy remain antagonistic towards the Knights. Hmm. No matter what stance we take when dealing with them, the outcome is always the same. Our efforts only result in adding more fuel to the flames. Hmm. We could come knocking on their door on the grounds of a search warrant, but if the investigation were to come up empty, I'm afraid tensions and distrust would only increase. Would it, wouldn't it help if you gave them like a sucker punch or something? All of our past efforts would have been wasted. Just give them a sucker punch, put them um, put them out of consciousness, you know, easy peasy. And then pretend you weren't ever there. Put them in bed, make it look like they never started their day. And, you know, yeah. Just just go in search and, and get out. Easy. <laughs> easy. But as, an honor uh, but as an honorary knight, I technically also belong to the knights. You are, in fact, the best candidate to represent the Knights of Favonius. But you need not emphasize your role as the honorary knight. You are a traveler from a distant land, and you can approach the aristocrats in this way. Once you come to friendly terms with the Lawrence clan, you should be in a good position to learn more of their possible connections with the Fatui. Or if they have connections. Whoa! Leave it to Master Jean to come up with such a thorough plan! Thank you so much, DJ. Thank you so much for the, uh, for the head pads. Give me a second. Let me change screen so that I can grab that. My head pads. <laughs> hey, Bigsby. Set a timer for five minutes. Many thanks, Bixby. I forgot my buttons for a second, then. Haha. -ha. <laughs> Perhaps such plans have become second nature after all the diplomatic issues I've dealt with. The name of the Lawrence clan member in question is Schubert. Lately, he can often be found strolling near the northern city walls. What's a name like that? Schubert. Sounds like Sherbert. Is he a dessert? I hope he looks good, because if he doesn't, I'm going to be disappointed. It is said that he is difficult to get along with due to his temperamental disposition. Mm. But if we approach him calmly, then things should go off without a hitch. Okay. Wonderful. A man with a temper. As if I haven't handled any of those before. Leave it to me. Thanks again for your help. If you run into any snags along the way... I'll do anything in my power to support you. Oh, don't worry. Any snags will go away very quickly. I'll make sure of it. Okay. Where to? I'm doing my nails. <laughs> what better time to do my nails other than on stream with you guys? Osmanthus wine tastes the Anyways, same as I remember. Onwards, where am I going? I'm going up here. Okay. Up we go. I can't. I can't touch anything other than my keyboard and my mouse. I just realized. Where is this? Di oh my god! He's a ginger. Of course, he's pissed. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I swear. I'm joking. I. <laughs> huh? Who are you? Some people that's come here to meet you. Hello. We're here to. Hello. Uh. Yeah. What's wrong? What's wrong? Did you just say what's wrong? 
Yeah, what's wrong with saying hello? What? Which would be light? polite. Huh. And I suppose you think that you can simply strut up here and greet me in such an ignoble and vulgar manner? What the fuck you want? What the f You're only a noble. What the fuck you want? Oh, great, Strutter. Hello to you. Greetings. I bow before your presence. Fuck you. Come on. Given that I don't recognize you, I can only assume that you are a traveler of some variety. I'll have you know that you are speaking with the Schubert Lawrence, a blood descendant of the magnanimous nobility. Bro, I didn't even remember your name was Schubert. I'm gonna call you Sherbert from now on, you little twat. Fucking hell. If you wish to address me, you'd best consider your words more carefully. Such nonchalant manners are <laughs> inadmissible <laughs> and will never do. Sorry, I wasn't listening to what you were saying. I was doing my nails. Now, if you're somehow capable of understanding anything I've said, then you will get down on your knees, apologize for your negligent actions, and give me a proper introduction. That is the appropriate etiquette. I don't I don't want to. Fucking snotty brat. I'll shove this nail polish right up your ass. See how you like it then. That's etiquette? Paimon's never heard of something so complicated before. Huh. In former times, when people knew their place and respected traditions, such conduct was only basic courtesy when greeting a nobleman. Blah, 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 blah. And neglecting your manners would result in a swift whipping. Oh, whipping, you say? I'll be more than happy to keep disrespecting you. Uh, look at the world now. Rules have been thrown to the wayside and manners forgotten. Ah, I cannot bear to see such degradation. Hmm. Such a fascinating thing, isn't it? <sighs> no, it's no wonder the aristocracy has fallen. What did you say? You dare question the dignity of the nobility? No, I didn't question it, I was just stating a fact. Oh, timer's up. I'll have you know that though the Lawrence clan is in decline, myself and others of noble blood are looking for a chance to restore our rightful honor. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> Oopsies, you didn't see that. You didn't see that. Oops, I clicked the wrong button again. Anyways, just look around. The people are unruly and undisciplined. I, however, strive to retain the elegance and etiquette of the nobility. After all, we are of a completely different breed by birth. I haven't even said anything yet. Save your words. I find your manners and bearing repulsive. I have nothing to discuss with the likes of you. I'm about to go back to my initial plan and punch his lights out and make sure he falls asleep and then put him in bed and then search his house and then he'll wake up and we'll pretend we didn't even meet him. Good plan? Good plan? Good plan? What do you guys think? I think it's a good plan. Besides, I am in no way obligated to instruct commoners on basic courtesies. It's not basic courtesy if you're asking us to bow down and apologize. You didn't, We said hello. That is basic courtesy. We said hello. What would be rude if, if it would be if we pushed you away and say, get out of the fucking way, peasants, like you basically are doing right now. I'm about to, uh, I'm about to punch this man's lights out. Now I have more pressing matters to attend to. I'll take my leave. I can see why Mr. Sherbert has a hard time getting along with people. Even people of noble birth would have a hard time getting along with him, and that's me saying that. And I'm a guardian of a forest, what the fuck? Oh, well, former so guardian. This is what Master Jean meant by difficult to get along with. There's far more than just what difficult to get along with. Winter. Um, well, this will be most certainly an interesting quest, don't you think? 
I'm about to punch Sherbet in the face. Oh, it's Amber. Well, if it isn't the honorary knight. I'm just on my way out to gather some intel. I didn't expect to run into you here. Hello. Huh? Judging by your expression, you must have run into some trouble. <laughs> some trouble, perhaps. Perhaps. Master Dean tasked us with a special assignment, but things seem to have run aground for the moment. <laughs> it's a long story. No need to get down on yourself. Sometimes things just don't turn out as planned. Even I can't guarantee useful intel every time I'm dispatched. Mm, I don't think that was... You just have to mm. keep at it and never give up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, why don't you let me try to help? What's the problem? Master Jean asked us to build a connection with someone named Schubert Lawrence. But it turns out that he's a peculiar character that doesn't listen to anyone. Especially Paimon. Aha, uh -huh, Schubert! I know him! Let me guess, he said you didn't have any manners. Sounds like you're no stranger to his rants. <laughs> I've been on the receiving end of his lectures many a time. The Lawrence clan can be very particular about such things. Uh... You mean everyone in the Lawrence clan is just a big headache? As aristocrats, they believe there should be a certain distance between themselves and common folk. Uh, I understand their thinking, but that's just not how things are anymore. However, there is one exception among the Lawrence clan. My good buddy, Eula. Oh, oh yeah, Eula's from the... Oh, oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> do, do you want to translate what that says? <laughs> I mean, it's okay to say stuff in a different language, I suppose, just as long as it's not something that will get me, you know, tealist. Um, how am I doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. We've met someone that's uh, quite. Uh, I've been saying that I wanted to punch his lights out, but um, I haven't had the chance. Buddy? That's right. Not only is she from the Lawrence clan, but she's also captain of the Knights of Favonius 4th Company. Oh. Oh, interesting, interesting. Hmm. It means hello to all. Nice. What language is that? Um, I don't want to guess because I might get it wrong. Search it up if you don't believe me. I mean, I do. <laughs> if you want me to look it up, I could look it up. I could look it up. Can I? Can I? I can't copy it. <laughs> I can't right click. You go. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> um. Yeah. So, hello. Hello back to you. <laughs> mm, what's my button? There we go. Uh, Jean told us that the Lawrence clan sees the knights as enemies. Eula is special. She's not quite like the other members of her clan. She has her own beliefs and it shows. Mm -hmm. In other words, she doesn't really adhere to the strict rules and conventions of her family. <gasps> no, 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 not at all. Um, the main reason why I, I put it as speak only in English is because I can't read in a different language. <laughs> That's the only reason. You could talk in a different language if you want. I'll probably just bring up a Google Translate or something. Um, it's not triggering at all if you wanted to say something in, different, in a different language. It's not, it's not an issue. <laughs> However, she's still quite knowledgeable about dealing with the Lawrences. I'm sure you'll see what I mean if you meet her. Hmm, that's strange. If you is a member of the Lawrence clan, then why would Master Jean choose us for the task? Couldn't she just ask Eula? Uh, well, it's a little complicated. Basically, the Lawrence clan has frowned upon the fact that Eula joined the Knights. Her family members don't particularly care for her. Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> I mean that's fair enough, but you never know sometimes, you know, because uh, some people do be like uh, saying nasty things in a different language. Like I played, you know, some some bell, um, and they were speaking in German, and uh, they weren't saying nasty things, but not me not knowing what they were saying probably didn't help the fact that um, you know they could have been insulting me, but I just didn't know, so I just didn't really care. <laughs> But yeah, it's okay. You could you could you could say stuff in a different language as long as you're not like saying bad things. <laughs> you just studied a bit of French in the middle of school in English. Ah, oh, I see. I feel like that's quite a common thing to learn some French um in school. Uh my French teacher um I think she retired from teaching French. Uh, uh it, when it came to my year and I was like eligible to learn French so I never learned French you don't know other language except Italian so I just know basic words oh I see I see I know how to speak Italian <laughs> wait wait what's this Baby, what are you doing? The spaghetti! You're supposed to eat it whole! Why are you cutting it in half? Mamma <laughs> <laughs> uh. mia! Mamma mia, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, okay, okay. <laughs> In their eyes, Eula is nothing but a traitor to the family. She sounds like quite the character. She's very easy to get along with. Just explain the situation, and I'm sure she'll help you come up with a way to get along with Schubert. I don't- I don't think I want to get along with the rude as Schubert. In fact, I think she's out in the wilderness on patrol this morning. Morning? You should be able to find her around Stormbear Mountains. Morning. Thanks, Amber. It looks like right, night to me. Amber. Let's go find Eula. Good luck, you two. I've got my own matters to investigate. I don't know about you guys, but that looks like- <laughs> The Knights have a member of the Lawrence clan. You mean her? Well, you mean this one? I'm itchy, but I can't scratch it. <laughs> Anyways, um, ooh, I need to. Where is it? Oh, Stormbear, right there. Oh, that's too bad. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, I hope you get back into it. It's quite. It, it, I'm, I'm enjoying it. What are they I'm so good at this game. I'm so good at this game. It got bored. Oh, you got bored of it. Oh. Just too bad. What's my adventure rank? I think it's like 35 at the moment. Yeah, it's 35, but it's higher in actuality because, you know, I got 51,000. Uh, 500,000 um, EXP. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna get shot! You 
go, Eula. Sheesh. Nice aim, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, right. Stormtrooper for aim. Your sword, do you? Do you have any idea how long I've been tracking these targets? And now you get to stake a claim. <laughs> you think you're stronger because you got to them first? <sighs> Mark my words. Vengeance will be mine. Uh, what? I'm sorry. Vengeance? That's right. I heard the commotion and came as swiftly as I could. Only to find you two already fighting the Fatui. Not only that, you are making quick work of them too. If I didn't make my move, you would have been able to take all the credit. Still, I'm glad you're unscathed. Confronting that number of Fatui at once can be dangerous. <sighs> Actually, I'm quite used to fighting the Fatui. Uh, sorry, Paimon doesn't understand. Oh, thank what you, you mean, for the hydrate, Ragnar. Thanks for your concern. <laughs> Trying to open my bottle without ruining my nails. Um, yeah, he's got Stormtrooper aim. Concern? Why would I be concerned for the safety of my arch enemies? Arch enemies? Wait a minute! You were saying how glad you were that we were unscathed a second ago! You left such a tsundere. <laughs> By which I meant, if you were injured, I'd have to escort two strangers guilty of stealing my targets all the way back to Mondstadt. Which would mean you'd cause me even more trouble. My vengeance would be swifter still. Huh? So that's how you see all this? So you must be Eula. Yes, that's me. Hyman thinks she's pretty strange. Although at least we can communicate with her. You dare to call someone you've just met strange? Forget the aristocracy. That's rude even by normal standards. <laughs> Stealing targets? No, no, I'm not stealing anybody. What are you talking about? I'm not stealing anybody. <laughs> Speaking of which, how do you know my name? This is the honorary knight of the Knights of Favonius. And speaking of rude, we're trying to investigate an aristocrat named Schubert Lawrence. Sh you mean Sherbert? <laughs> I'm calling that man Sherbert because I he doesn't deserve to be to be called by his proper name. He can he can go suck it. That he's not even willing to speak with us. <laughs> I understand now. That's my uncle, all right. But why do you mean to investigate him? He may be secretly involved with the Fatui. <sighs> I see. <laughs> you have some nerve to faming a family member right in front of me. I will have vengeance for this, too. Well, Yula, it's not like they care about you. That's all! Aren't you curious about your uncle? To the everyday citizens of Mondstadt, everyone in the Lawrence clan is scum. It's natural for rumors and unwarranted gossip to lead to such suspicion. Hard to avoid such a reputation when you're known as the ruthless rulers of old Mondstadt. Oh, so that's what you think of me? Hm. Yet another transgression to avenge. <sighs> Paimon, just shut the fuck up. Please, just shut the fuck up. I'm begging you to shut the fuck up. What? Didn't you say it first? Oh. <laughs> Curious. We've only just met, and you've already given me three causes for vengeance. It's been a while since I've encountered anyone as interesting as you. Why do you seem so happy about it? I'll, I'll shove- No, I'll just throw her back in the river I found her in. I assume you need me to teach you the conduct of the Lawrence clan. Only then will you finally be able to communicate with my uncle, correct? That's right. Amber told us to come and talk to you. Well then, let's begin your training immediately. It'll be easier to train when we're back in Mondstadt. We'll require other people. <laughs> we'll require other people, no. You're not planning to take your take revenge at an opportune moment, are you? We can put that aside for now. Besides, if it's the acting grandmaster's assignment, and Amber's the one who recommended me, I should comply. Uh, Raymond's confused. This girl's all vengeance this and revenge that. But 
Oh, you thanks so much for the hydrate. Angry. I don't know, those browns did I say anger. Bigger weirdos before. You mean you? I swear, I swear to God that Paimon is the biggest weirdo but we've ever met. Those who share the <laughs> mm. Thank you so much for this stretch third. And why is my keyboard out of place? Hang on a moment. There's something on my desk. Just take get that out of here. Okay. Thank you so much for the headpads too. Um, let me Every get that. journey has its final oh. day. Oh, oh, Don't oh! Run. <laughs> you saw nothing. You saw nothing. Absolutely nothing. I just need 8k more to redeem the thing. That thing. Oh my god! It's specific too. It's that thing. Hey, Bigs V. Set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes and counting on your timer. Thank you. Okay. I'm not gonna ask what the thing is, because I feel like that defeats the purpose of you calling it the thing. What? Excuse me. Oh, oh, hang on. <laughs> You finally arrived. There's no time to spare, so we'll begin with our first lesson. Yes, ma'am. Wait, hold on. There's something we need to clear up first. Otherwise, it'll keep bugging us. Uh, all about that vengeance stuff. <sighs> so that's still on your mind, huh? Maybe you're the ones who can't let things go. Mm. <laughs> Don't worry. There's a time and place for exacting vengeance. Besides, I'm not in the mood for any right now. Best save it for later. Uh, you need to be in the right mood for vengeance. It's quite something to say, in the mood for vengeance. I already have a long list of vengeance to exact. Even if I wanted to begin now, I'd have to start in the right order. She has an order. She has a hit list. Who knows how long it will be before I get to you. She has a hit list, guys. <laughs> well, if you have to take care of, wouldn't it just be easier to give us a clean slate? Absolutely not. <laughs> Stealing my targets, calling me a ruthless ruler, and suspecting my uncle. All worthy of vengeance in my eyes. Well, we're not suspecting your uncle by f by our own admission, okay? First of all, we only suspect him because Jean said, oh, he might be suspect of Fatui. <laughs> Um, she's definitely counting. But you needn't worry, at least not whilst we're investigating this matter. I'm sure you're familiar with the phrase, a man of moral integrity fears no slanderous attack. Hmm, don't think I've ever heard that one. If Uncle Schubert didn't commit any wrongdoing, then any such investigation will prove fruitless. My favorite character? Oh, Jung Lee, of course. But if he did commit a wrongful act, then he should bear the full punishment. I'm sure you understand. Mm. I mean, I'm starting to see what you mean. Good. Now, there are two key points that aristocrats attach great importance to. Your manner of speech and your bearing. Okay. Let's begin with your manner of speech. Aristocrats have a very unique way of carrying conversation, even with mundane daily topics. All right. Oh, Paimon's already learned some unique conversation. Mark my words, vengeance will be mine! Oh my god, Paimon, you're digging yourself a grave. <sighs> Not even close. And besides, it sounds strange. of your own clan no i've no need to trouble myself with such frivolous formalities here allow me to demonstrate hang on 
Hang on, before you demonstrate, let me finish my pinky. Oh! Oh, shit. Oh, no! I looked over at chat. I ruined my nail already. No! Uh, I just want to duct tape for Paimon. I agree, I agree. I completely agree with that, Minnie. I, I completely agree with that. I would absolutely agree with that statement. If you want some duct tape, I would totally spare some for you. Um, demonstration. Go. For example, when greeting a friend, you could say, "As the morning dew greets the coming dawn, so do I greet you, my dear friend." What the fuck? That's such a long greeting. I'm gonna forget that. Oh my god. Uh, as the morning dew does what now? However, such a phrase may only be used during the morning hours. Also, the party with whom you're speaking must be of approximately the same status as you. Okay. But I technically have no status in this world, so... Morning dew is not uncommon, so it expresses that friendship should not be measured by value, yet also suggests that friendship between aristocrats is pure like water. I wonder if that's why she's a cryo character. Seems a lot of work to just greet a good friend. Oh, no, no, no. You must be prudent with your words. Calling someone a good friend could easily offend them. Okay. Uh, but didn't you just say my dear friend in your example? <laughs> yes, I did. But you must know in the Lawrence family, dear friend is a set phrase that can only be used towards certain friends with whom one is acquainted, but not particularly close. Okay. Interesting. It sounds much more pleasant to call an acquaintance a dear friend. So, another thing to remember. Aristocrats are concerned with face and being polite. They want to say face? They want to say face. Okay. However, if you were to use dear friend to address an intimate friend, the recipient would think that you were deliberately trying to estrange them. You mean, you always have to talk this way? This is only the first step in making a greeting. After addressing one another, you then exchange courtesies. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. My head is itchy. I can't even scratch my head. Okay. Wait, wait. This is all too abstract. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have a hard time remembering how to greet people. Holy crap. I feel like that's gonna be kind of difficult. Ah, very well. Come with me. We'll choose some bystanders to converse with. Oh no. I feel like they're gonna think we're weird. Oh, you're Eula of the Lawrence clan, right? This can't be good. <clears throat> you there, lowly laborer. You stand in the presence of a member of the illustrious Lawrence clan. I have words for you. Please acknowledge the glory bestowed upon thee by the nobility. Uh, what comes next? Ah! Uh, uh, right. By solemnly kneeling to the ground with utmost sincerity. I I love her too. I like Yula too. My favorite's still Zhongli, but Yula's a good second. Huh? I can't make heads or tails of anything you're saying. Hold on, what did they always teach me? Whenever a dispute arises, protection of your family's prestige and dignity always takes precedence. <sighs> Got it. <clears throat> As a lowly commoner, you shall maintain absolute reverence when speaking with those under which you so graciously toil. How dare you speak in such a manner? <laughs> she definitely spoke like Sherbert just then. Uh, is everyone from the Lawrence clan so strange? The days of the Lawrence clan's tyranny have long passed. I don't care what you're trying to do. Just beat it. Uh, she's just giving us a gem demonstration, that's all. Like I said, I don't care what you're doing. I have nothing to say to any member of the Lawrence clan. And here's a word of advice. I wouldn't be caught dead walking too closely with any one of their like in Mondstadt. If that's all, I'll be going. I'm afraid I won't be able to control myself if we talk any longer. 
Damn. Yeah, Kiwi made the uh, overlay because she hated mine, so... <laughs> Um, man, Lorman, man, you're really misunderstanding you right here. Uh, hey, hey, don't leave. Uh, halt. Oh, mark my words. Vengeance will be mine. Wow. The Lawrence name really does carry a terrible reputation. It makes you kind of feel bad for you, because she's a good person. <sighs> Never mind him. I could have predicted as much. Let's find someone else. How are you gonna find someone else? I feel like the only person you can talk to is Amber. Uh, oh, here, here. Hey, hey, Leno. <clears throat> you there, lowly toiler. You stand in the presence of a member of the illustrious Lawrence clan. I have words for you. Please acknowledge the glory bestowed upon thee by the nobility and solemnly kneel to the ground with utmost sincerity. <sighs> huh? Why don't you respond? According to the custom, I must wait until you kneel completely before I can say the next words. Ah, right. I mustn't look at you too long, or I'll be drawing more attention to our difference in status. Oh dear, I've already stared at you for quite a while. <sighs> Fine. You may spare yourself the formality of kneeling, as it may be a little inconvenient. I shall continue. Oh, wait. I think there's a line for people with rude attitudes in this situation. Hey, stop bothering me or else I might say something you wouldn't like to hear. Then again, I've got no words for anyone from the Lawrence clan. Oh. Again? What's with this attitude? Mm, maybe we should s just stop for now. Yes, I don't think his attitude will change. If I keep grandstanding like this, the outcome won't be good. Let's try to find someone else to talk to. I'll remember your unwillingness to comply. Mark my words. Vengeance will be mine. <laughs> Yula, Yula, she's such a sweetie, but yeah. <laughs> Randall, Randall, will you be compliant, please? Randall, I beg. You there, lowly worker. I. Yeah, I've already heard it all before. Look, just spare me the time. Our answer's always the same. We've got nothing to say to the likes of you. I mean, seriously, can't you just take a hint? Please calm down. We don't want to cause any trouble. Ah, uh, I know she's a knight of Favonius, and that the knights wouldn't misplace their trust, but the name Lawrence carries too much weight with it. Even to this very day, the descendants of the Lawrence clan are still scheming to reclaim Mondstadt and reinstate their aristocratic rule. And if that wasn't enough, here you are purposefully using their awkward way of speaking just to put on an act? Don't you care for the feelings of us ordinary folk? You have a point. But mark my words, this transgression will not go unnoticed. Huh? You want to fight? Listen here, I may be no match for you, but I'll be sure to lodge a complaint with the Knights of Favonius. Mm, maybe we should just call it a day for now. I'm sorry, but I want her to understand that I'm serious. Listen here. If you don't want things to get more unpleasant, then you'd better just stop. Can you please? We're just, she's just helping us. Let her help us. Forget it. There's no point in quarreling any further. Let's go. <sighs> Come on, Randall. <sighs> Honestly. It's all right. This happens quite often. Let's find someone else to talk to. We've seen enough now. Let's just stop. Actually, Paimon thinks we should apologize for asking you to demonstrate for us. We had no idea the feelings between the Lawrence clan and the people of Mondstadt were so bitter. <laughs> what can we do? The Lawrence name is already a dirty word among every household in Mondstadt. Even three-year-olds know the story. I see this kind of attitude all the time. And somehow you still manage to brush it off with a laugh. Don't worry. What with me being a knight of Favonius, they're usually willing to speak a few words with me. Perhaps my aristocratic manner of speech provoked them today. Believe me, it's not a big issue. So this is the way things are normally for you? There's no need for them to direct their anger at you personally. 
that's the way things are. Perhaps it's just fate for those who have made mistakes. Accepting punishment is only fair, right? But when your family has committed atrocities, I'm afraid there's no easy path to reconciliation. I kind of feel that that's not right. Like, their, their ancestors made mistakes, but they want to change. But they can't because... Pe well, they can. But the people will never see them as change. They'll always see them as, like, the bad apple. It's like, um, oh, they did this one time. And then as soon as they do something bad. Um, as soon as they do something bad. Uh, let's say... Oh, let's say Eula did something bad. Right? And she's a Knight of Favonius now, right? So she's trying to change the way that people think of the Lawrence clan, assumedly. Let's just let's just say that that's what she's trying to do, right? Um, but as soon as she does something wrong, they'll be like, Oh, look, the Lawrence clan are at it again. They're about to do something bad, and it's going to put a bad name on Mondstadt, blah, blah, blah. And then they go right back to square one where um, they think the Lawrence clan is just horrible. It's just kind of sad. As memories are carried in the city breeze, the faults of such grievances are passed from one generation to the next. It is now my turn to bear this burden. At least I have a means of living a relatively normal life compared to the elders of my family. I have nothing to be discontented about. So you knew all along we'd encounter these problems? Yeah! Why were you so willing to try and demonstrate for us? Oh, that reminds me. That last person will not escape my vengeance, either. <sighs> Let's leave it at that. Just think of it as something I like to do. But unfortunately, you probably didn't learn much from those conversations. It seems we have no other choice but to find more people to talk to. Uh, no need! Besides, the Traveler's pretty sharp, and nothing gets in our way on an adventure. Paimon thinks we got the gist of it now. Right? Right? Mmm... Yeah, I think I've got it. We'll just have to roll with it for now. Let's just keep Eula from getting anyone else riled up. Well then, I'm glad you learned something. You're already halfway toward mastering aristocratic conduct. A proper manner of speech is more aesthetic than anything else. It stems from their taste for refinement. But we must also practice your bearing. I have a very effective way of training for this. Come with me to Dragonspine. Dragonspine? <laughs> Why the coldness of dragon's fine exactly? I'd love to know. Time to go. Everyone put your jackets on. It's about to get cold. We Where should look she? for a place to take shelter. I'll be fine, but we don't want you catching a cold. He said, I'll be fine, but I don't want you to catch a cold. Oh. He likes to look after us. Does aristocrat training really need to be done here? If you wish to truly achieve the dignified conduct of an aristocrat, you must learn to remain composed and elegant even amidst harsh conditions. For example, you can see that part of the path up ahead is quite difficult to traverse. But a well-trained aristocrat would not only effortlessly proceed forward, but do so without a stain on their garment and their elegance fully intact. Paimon thinks we've left the realm of aristocrats and entered the realm of adventuring. Compared to what we've already seen, this should be a piece of cake. Mm, should be way easier than making con conversation, at least. Paimon thinks so, too. But you've got this in the bag. <laughs> you look pretty confident this time. All right, let's get started. Remember, you must be graceful and elegant. Don't get knocked or launched into the air. That would be most unsightly. Graceful. Elegant. Mm. Do I look graceful and elegant to you? That won't do. You've exposed your shortcomings. Oh no wait, no, I'm confused. Head back to the starting point and try again. It'll be difficult at first, but the key is to remain patient. Let's try- Remember, you must be elegant. Don't get knocked or launched into the air. Okay. Okay. Motion to compel. Hmm. 
I just don't have to take any damage, right? Oh my god. Oh no, that's not the button I was looking for. Oh, come on! Oh, thank you. Can I, can I, can I, can I? Solidify. Okay, there you go. I got knocked away a little bit. What the fuck? This is gonna be hard now, really. I just have to rush someone. Oh my god, I s Get out of- Look at this, look at this, look at this. Watch this. Okay. All done, all done, all done! Not bad. A lot better than I had anticipated, at least. I, uh, misunderstood the assignment. I, I understand it now. Mm. Um, so, are we aristocrats now? <laughs> <laughs> Don't flatter yourselves. We've only just begun. This scenario was relatively simple. In the face of a real battle, one would seldom have a chance to stop and evaluate the situation. There's a ley line monolith just up ahead that will attract nearby monsters. True elegance is the ability to calmly yet swiftly make decisions in the heat of battle. Is this how you normally train? My family set only the highest expectations for me, even as a child. Let's proceed, shall we? Hmm. Highest expectations, hmm. Sounds quite familiar. This is the ley line monolith. Go ahead, activate it. Alright, done. But be careful not to get launched into the air or frozen while fighting. That would be most unsightly. You failed this time. Oh, what? What a shame. No, 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 no. It's just free after all. Let's try again. Order guide you. Crumble. Incinerate. You failed this time. Oh my god, I fucking hate those fucking bubbles. You guys can fuck suck it. Just training after all. Let's try again. This thing is just so against me. I will have order. This thing is so against me. Oh, oh, these ones are easy. Oh, you what the fuck? You bitch! No, you did not just fucking do that. I hate it here, bro. The hilly trolls are supposed to be easy, man. I hate you. I hate you. Well done. 
Your performance was most impressive. And you managed to remain calm even in these grueling dragon spine surroundings. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder if even I could have done the same. Oh. Given such an outstanding performance, it seems there is little left for me to teach you. Like Paimon said, adventuring is our specialty. Uh, <laughs> so, that's it for our training, right? Then let's get out of Dragon Spine before Paimon turns into a popsicle. <sighs> oh, I would like that. Can we stay in Dragon Spine for just a few minutes longer? Hold on. I was commending the Traveler's performance just now. You, on the other hand, seem to have made no progress at all. Uh, what? You mean Paima was also part of the training? Yes, of course. You were frantically flying and dashing about throughout the entire thing. Not an elegant sight at all. Did you even listen to anything I was trying to teach you? Maybe the weather is just too cold here. Yeah, that's it. It's too cold here. Uh, besides, Paima was paying attention to the Traveler. Whatever the reason, not heeding my instructions. A cause for vengeance, perhaps. Huh. Now, drink this. Huh? What is it? <gasps> Are you trying to poison Paimon? Certainly not. It's warm milk. Didn't you just say that you were freezing? Drink it and it'll help warm you up. Oh, uh, thank you. Um, are you still planning on the whole vengeance thing? If I wasn't, then why would I care about you being cold? If you turned into a Paimon popsicle, that would ruin my plans for vengeance now, wouldn't it? <laughs> I wish you let her turn into a popsicle and make life a lot easier, trust me. So, dear friend, don't die on me out here. Ah! Paimon knew something was off! Thank you for looking after Paimon. Except All no. in the name of vengeance. No need to thank me. Now then, given that your training is complete, it's time we return to Mondstadt. Our last step will be preparing a cordial gift to present to my uncle when you meet him. I already have something in mind. Let's pay Sarah a visit at Good Hunter. Okay then. Good Hunter it is. Let's go. Why do I have an exclamation mark on the map? Hang on. Uh, excuse me. And maybe it's for there? I don't know. Boing. Oh, hey, it's Amber. Oh, hey, Eula. I see you've met the honorary knight. We meet again, Amber. Seems we're just bound to run into you these days. Well, I just got back and was thinking about grabbing a bite at Good Hunter. But now that you're here, why don't we all eat together? Very well. It's been some time since we've last shared a meal together. Come, take a seat. We can discuss my uncle's gift while we eat. Okay, we will eat. Nom 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 nom. Yes? Is there something else you'd like to order? Could you please prepare a serving of my uncle's favorite? Gebrotenness Fleisch mit Sauerkraut. We'll take it as a gift to him later. Coming right up. <laughs> It'll take some time to prepare. I'll have it here at the counter once it's ready. Uh, hold on a moment. Is this satisfying salad also something that Amber ordered? No, she didn't order it. But because she didn't order any vegetables, I thought I'd throw in a salad on the house. You know, to contrast all the meat dishes. So, we clearly didn't order this. Yet you prepared it without authorization. <laughs> Mark my words, this transgression will not go unnoticed. Uh. Uh, you're gonna take revenge on her for giving us a free salad? <laughs> you should know me by now. That's the kind of villainous character I am. Well then, uh, please wait a moment while I get the dish for your uncle started. <laughs> Delicious unauthorized delicacies. Sarah will pay for this. Choose Gibrontinus Fleisch mit Sauerkraut as a gift for your uncle. Paimon's never even heard that dish before. Just because you never heard of it doesn't mean it doesn't exist, Paimon. This dish isn't actually on Good Hunter's menu. Only long standing patrons such as my uncle would know about the dish. The old aristocrats seem to take a liking to it. Because of the sour flavor of the sauerkraut, not too many people are fond of it these days. I guess it's become less popular over time. Eula treated me to the dish once, and I couldn't even finish a bite. I've nicknamed it Gebratenes Fleisch mit Vengeance ever since. Ugh. 
I never expected us to have such completely different tastes in food. If I weren't in such a good mood, I'd say that constitutes grounds for transgression. Hmm. So even Amber doesn't escape your vengeance? Of course not. It's hard to find someone in Mondstadt that attracts contempt as much as she does. <laughs> it's fine when you're just joking between us, but I'm afraid our honorary knight might misunderstand you. Eula's always talking about vengeance, but that's just how she is. It's nothing you should take too seriously. But I am serious, and I'll remember every transgression committed against me. Ugh, it's no wonder so many people dislike you. Paimon's starting to realize that Eula is actually a very good person. There's no need to be so awkward when you want to say something nice. <sighs> Listen, you've never been labeled as a social pariah, have you? No? So that's why you wouldn't understand how hard it is for a bad person to try to be good. It's impossible for me, and I have no intention of acting like a good person. All right, no need to look so sullen. I'm just kidding. Come on, let's eat. The food is getting cold. Kind of makes you feel bad for her. She's really trying. Nom 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 Ooh, I'm stuffed. I'll see Sarah about the bill. No need. I've left the mora under the plate. If you try to settle it with her in person, she won't accept payment for the salad. Don't underestimate my ability to exact revenge. <laughs> Sarah won't get the upper hand this time. All right, next you should pay my uncle a visit. He has a small camp at the top of the mountain near Springvale. He usually whiles his time away there when there's nothing else to do. Uh, aren't you coming with us, Yua? I'm afraid that wouldn't be very convenient for me. It'd be better if you two went alone. Ah, yes. Please do remember to pick up the dish from Sarah. I still have more recon to do in the wilderness. Well, until next time. Let's meet again. What an interesting bunch you are. I am very interesting indeed. Sarah, 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 Sarah. Here. The gabratinous flesh with sauerkraut is ready to go. <laughs> be sure to eat it while it's hot. Otherwise, the flavor will be spoiled. And by the way, don't worry too much when Eula says strange things. She's actually a very good person. We could we figured that out. Mm. I've been meaning to ask. No one could stand the sight of Eula when she was trying to speak with the others in Mondstadt earlier. But she seemed to get along fine with you and Amber just now. What's up with that? The people of Mondstadt don't take kindly to anyone bearing the Lawrence name. They are unable to see past her family, therefore they don't actually see Eula for herself. So no matter what Eula tries to do, it's seen as a wrongdoing. It essentially strips the meaning of anything she tries to accomplish. So that's what she meant when she said it's, it was hard for a bad person to try to be good. How come you're able to see Eula differently then? Well, when she joined the Knights of Favonius, it caused quite an uproar. Many people signed a petition demanding that the Knights reverse their decision. At the same time, numerous members of the Lawrence clan crowded the entrance of the Knights of Favonius headquarters, clamoring for Eula to give an explanation. Oh, so both sides were unhappy. That's right. So you can imagine how determined Eula must have been under such circumstances. But thanks to Grandmaster Varka and the unwavering attitudes of others in the Knights of Favonius, they were able to quell the unrest. Tensions still remain beneath the surface, I'm afraid. In the eyes of the people, she's a stain on the Knights of Pavonius. And in the eyes of the Lawrence clan, she's a disgrace to her family. But she simply fulfills her duty as a knight, silently helping one person after another, myself included. People like Eula should be approached with care and understanding. She could stand to be treated a little more fairly. It's good that you're able to understand her. I believe a day will come when things will get better. Once everything's settled, we should go talk to Yuma again. Paimon thinks we know how to communicate with her now. I'm glad. I think that would make her very happy. Though, she might not ever admit it. Take care. Please come again. You know we will. We love Good Hunter. Alright, let's go to Springvale. And go meet this asshole of an uncle. Sherbert. Fucking Sherbert. Fuck you, Sherbert. 
Just so you know, I have nothing against the, the, the ice cream type sherbet. I don't I don't have anything against the actual dessert sherbet. It's just that this man's name sounds like Sherbert and I refuse to call him by his actual name because one, I can't remember how it's pronounced anymore, and two, he was being incredibly rude. And there he is. Hello. The tent seems to be pretty tattered, but there's a really fancy chair. Could this be another aristocratic custom? Ah, it's you again. I thought I had rid myself of you too. Please, if I may be so bold as to say a few humble words. A few humble words, huh? Yes, that sounds appropriate enough. Very well. I'm certainly not one to be narrow-minded. I'll overlook your previous misconduct for now and listen to what you have to say. Wow, this guy thinks so highly of himself. It is an honor to... Oh my god, I don't wanna. Um, if it is an honor to stand before you here immersed in your supreme brilliance. Hmm. Appears I have misjudged you. Supreme brilliance. The glory of the nobility that continues to this day. A true loyalist. Impressive. My intentions were to test your humility. It appears you have become well versed in our etiquette. Oh, so he was testing us. Sheesh, what an ordeal. Your conduct is satisfactory. I must say, such progress in such a short time is practically unfathomable. If I may ask, from whence did you learn such a civilized manner of speech? I refine my conduct with some instruction in the classics courtesy of a dear friend. Ah, good. Very good. You are bright, and compared with the common folk of Mondstadt, you certainly have potential. If you were of aristocratic blood, your prospects would be promising indeed. By the way, we brought a gift. Ahem. Paimon means we would like to present you with a small token of our goodwill. Uh, that sounds so weird to hear Paimon say. Oh, Jesus. <gasps> Could this be? Gebratnis Fleisch mit Sauerkraut? Yes, it is. Indeed, it is. From Good Hunter, too. Possibly your favorite. So, please take it and please give us... Oh, shit. Please give us the information in which that we, we need so that we can leave you alone and never speak to you again. It's evident that your sentiment is genuine. As a young person nowadays, only with no small effort could you achieve such a dish. No, we ordered it from Sarah. It's been so long since I dug into a big tasty I, I beg your pardon what I mean to say is since it's nearly meal time I shall partake ah yes this aroma just as I remember it <sighs> and this exquisite sour flavor mm. A delicacy that only us noblemen and women could appreciate. I don't think anyone really appreciates sour food. I'm sure some people do. Not a lot, though. Now even Paimon's starting to wonder what it tastes like. I acknowledge your genuine goodwill. Such sincerity must certainly imply that you come bearing a request. It seems there is word that the Lawrence family has a grand scheme of sorts. Wait, so you've come to know of this, too? It was meant to be a family secret. I would like to do what I can for the nobility. Hmm. Well, considering your meticulous etiquette, you must be a talent of unusual fortitude. I'm willing to place my full trust in you. Hee <laughs> hee as planned. Please, come with me. We happen to be in need of competent fellows like yourself. Where are we going? To see some friends from a distant land. 
They have offered their assistance in restoring the Lawrence clan to its former glory. So he trusts us solely based on your etiquette. I think we need to be careful. Well then, let's get going, shall we? You'll understand everything in due course. Yeah. Do you think his friends are the Fatui? Things will get sticky if the Fatui happen to recognize you. What should we do? Don't worry, they won't recognize Zhongli. Zhongli? Yeah, they won't recognize us. So chill, chill. Besides, the traveler they know had green all over her. We have purple. Just calm down. It's fine. Oh, we just need cryo and hydro? Easy, easy. We already have those on our team. Easy. Easy. Let's go. Mm, this is not good. Huh? Why have you put on a mask all of a sudden? <sighs> I don't wish to be seen by any strangers. Hmm. Even if they are powerful, our status is much higher than theirs in the land of Mondstadt. And therefore, we shouldn't allow them to admire our true faces so easily. I see. <laughs> Good thinking. Paimon thought for sure they'd recognize us. Let's proceed, shall we? I'll introduce you as my guest. Yeah, the mask is gonna work. Uh, oh, maybe I should take mine off. As you'll see in a moment, oh, there are many already helping us. I heard that this area had already been purged once by the Knights of Favonius, but it's the only place around Mondstadt that is well concealed and spacious enough. Although it has fallen into disrepair and does not suit the tastes of the nobility, we simply have to make due for now. Hmm. Uh, sorry. Um, can we walk any faster? Of course not. An aristocrat always moves with grace in his steps. Moving hurriedly is unacceptable. Exactly. We have grace in our step. We're Zhongli. <laughs> As expected, it's the Fatui. Oh my god, Paimon, shut up. Shut the fuck up, Paimon! Uh, because we always see them around the city. Um, they must be very powerful. <laughs> Oh my god, Paimon. Nothing more than foreign ruffians with power and the ability to flaunt it. But they are favorable business partners. Oh my god, I swear to god, Paimon's gonna blow our cover. Hold it right there! Who's this? If you really must know, they're my guests. If you happen to offend them in even the slightest, then you will be held accountable by the Lawrence clan. But this matter is of utmost secrecy. We must exercise caution. You dare question the ways of a nobleman? I don't have time for this. Make way. No need to sound all high and mighty like that. Ah, <sighs> fine. You may proceed. <laughs> Just as Question you. Of course, that is the benefit of prestige. In past times, it would be a dire offense to speak to a nobleman in such a manner. Okay. You can determine a person's fate with the blink of an eye. Oh, <laughs> Jungli, is that tripping? Such glory will return to me again before long. You've never seen me before, shut up. And who, may I ask, is this? We mustn't bring just anyone in here. Sergey, Sergey, I must ask for you to purge your memory of a, a blonde traveler. Um, this is our new ally that I've recently met. They are completely trustworthy. You have the word of the Lawrence clan. It's a pleasure to meet you. Our plans are strictly confidential. It's not wise to bring in an outsider at this time. Furthermore, there's been word that an outlander who joined the Knights of Favonius 
has been very active in Mondstadt recently. Don't be ridiculous. Besides, my guest is well versed in the etiquette of the nobility. I must treat them with the proper mutual respect. The Knights of Favonius pay no regard to such details. They could never understand the intricacies of our etiquette. Exactly. So let us the fuck in. Let us in! Let us in, you fool. And what about this thing? Uh, you mean timing? Enough! You dare question my word? Need I remind you who it is who has made your activity in Mondstadt possible? Without the support of the Lawrence clan, you would have all been driven out by the Knights of Favonius like dogs. You must immediately offer your sincerest apologies to my friend. You've offended their honor. Fine. I'll take your word and make no further inquiries. Now, to the matter at hand. Did you bring the diagram of Mondstadt's defenses as promised? Oh, so that's what's going on here. Yes, of course. Here it is. Let me see. Huh. Why is it so poorly drawn? Everything's so squiggly and crooked. A and what is this shape supposed to be? Excuse me? I'll have you know that I went to great lengths to carefully draw this map by hand myself. That shape is the symbol of the Knights of Favonius. Huh, I see. Crude, but I can make do. Are you able to verify that this is all reliable information? Oh, hi, Hitsu. I love you too. <laughs> of course, you needn't worry about that. Don't forget what we agreed upon. The flag of the Lawrence clan will fly above the Knights of Favonius headquarters. Oh, thanks for the mouse toggle. I have to do this on the other screen. Um... Oh, okay. Oh, wrong button. I forgot that I changed it. <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. The rights to that building, as well as the whole of Mondstadt, belong to the Lawrence clan. Yes, yes, we will both profit from this agreement. There's no use haggling over the details. We will make good use of the intel you provided. Also, be certain not to divulge our identity. There would be diplomatic consequences, you know. <laughs> you guys are screwed. You're so screwed. Don't worry, this matter is only between you and I. And my new friend here. No one else will know of it. Once this is over, I shall stand atop the Favonius headquarters and rebuke their pathetic rule over Mondstadt. Then, the city and all its people will once again be under the rightful and unwavering rule of the Lawrence clan. Mm, we shall see. Paimon, <laughs> I swear to God. Perfect. Just as it once was, and just as it should be. <sighs> May I remember? again that we mustn't act rashly that is all for now very well very well huh what are you doing no need to keep up appearances that's right it's the honorary knight and their trusty companion paimon we are here to crush your evil schemes into dust I think they got the message, Paimon. So this was all just a ploy to deceive me! It's your own fault! Who would put so much trust in someone based purely on their manners? After so much planning, this is how it ends? Huh? We'll see about that! Oh. Where's he going? <laughs> just as I expected. I knew I should have never trusted these foolish aristocrats. No matter. We already have the intel we need. Get them! The intel you need will Everybody never open. Oh. Different directions. Kaima remembers that this place is a dead end. Let's take care of the Batui first and then deal with Schubert later. I see through you. Looks like sure. You see, you see what? You see through me? That's fucking rude. Beg for mercy. Motion to compel. Solidify. Shudder. Hold the line. Sure, 
I could do that. Very easy. There you go. See? Easy. Easy peasy. Fucking dumbass. Hello. Oh, it's Eula. Is that Eula? It's Eula. Don't touch me. Get out of my way. I'll leave on my own. It seems we finally caught up with you. This place is crawling with Fatui. Oh, it's you. It seems your investigation went well. It was all worth it. Aha! I see now. So you're the one that taught them our etiquette. And I thought you despised such pleasantries. Furthermore, there is a rule in our family. Such traditions are never to be taught to outsiders. Ah, yes. Rings a bell. So what? I had no reason not to teach them. You have brought shame to our family and ruined my plans. It's all for naught now. I know that you poured great efforts into these plans, Uncle. But you were well aware that it was not the right thing to do. As a Knight of Favonius, I could not overlook your actions. Knight of Favonius? Let's get one thing straight. I am your uncle, and you are a member of the Lawrence clan. You should strive to restore your family's glory. You still have a chance. Defeat every Knight of Favonius here, and leave with me. Then I shall plead with the family to spare you and give you a new beginning. Oh, please. I don't want nothing more than to kill him. <laughs> Trust me, I, uh, I've wanted to kill him ever since we met him. I don't even call him by his actual name. I call him Sherbert. So just to be clear, you want a Knight of Favonius to attack the Knights of Favonius? I shall say this one last time. You are not a Knight of Favonius. You are a descendant of the Lawrence clan. The blood of the Lawrence clan flows in your veins. You must comply with the will of the family. He's so angry his finger is shaking. Since when have I ever complied with the will of the family? Why, you... You unruly maid! If anyone should be angry, it should be me. As a member of the Lawrence clan, you knowingly plotted against the city of Mondstadt and threatened its safety. Had you ever stopped to consider the trouble it would bring to so many people? Had you considered how many enemies you would make trying to keep the plans under wraps? Y you dare lecture me! That's right. In the name of the family that you so dearly revere, Uncle Schubert. I've never experienced the age of glory you always speak of. And I've never understood our family's incessant pursuit of it. But I am capable of discerning right from wrong. And I deeply understand what freedom means to the people of Mondstadt. The Lawrence clan should never and will never become what you've dreamed it to be. Ah, oh, the disgrace of it all! How could such a rebellious monster emerge from our own family? <laughs> Things are starting to get pretty hysterical here. Politeness and elegance seem to have gone out the window. That's enough fuss for today. You two, take him away. The honorary knight and I have other matters to attend to. <sighs> Given that you've already taken action, I assume you've come across some conclusive evidence? The Fatui are in possession of the diagram of Mondstadt's defenses. Hyman took a peek at their diagram. Your uncle had mapped out all of the knight's patrol routes and marked out key information about Mondstadt. <sighs> and there was me thinking that he was just another elder of the family. And a lazy one at that. I never suspected he could stoop this low. So stubborn. Mark my words, vengeance will be mine. Let's discuss this later. Our first priority is recovering that diagram. Very well then. I will go after the man. Where is he? Um, oh, this way. Okay, okay. Let's go, let's go. Ooh. Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh no, they changed it. Oh, I hate it here. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. See, this is fine, this is fine. Let's get John Lee, it's fine. <laughs> See, it's fine, it's fine. Just get John Lee, put up a shield. The first two will be no problem. No problem. Okay. What 
No damage for me, baby. Ha 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 ha. Huh? Oh. Open sesame, come on, come on. Oh, right. Stabilize. Allow me. Shut up. Kill joy. We only just begun. Kill joy. Thank for mercy. I didn't know we were playing Valorant. Oh, he's dead. Shut up. Hi, yay! Hi! I'll take my hydrant in just a second, okay? Oh, there's more. Stabilize! Shut up! This isn't. Oh, it's a water boy. Vengeance will be mine. It's a water boy. What a fool! Get out of here. Beg for mercy. Talk about talk about not taking any damage. Anyways, I'll take my hydrate now. Choco, 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 choco. Shut up. Let's go. What the fuck? Oh. You piece of shit. As soon as I get off, it starts moving. I hate it here. <laughs> there it is. That's where they put the diagram. Is it though? We didn't see them put. Oh, da, da, da. you bitch! Ah! How's it getting getting in shitty? <laughs> it's going fine. It's going fine. I actually forgot to upgrade my stuff, so I'll probably do that just after. Oh, just after this thing. Oh. This here, huh? I guess there's no other option but to fight. Oh, it's you. Yeah, I I'm provoking you. You can you can you can. Uh, where'd you go? Come back here. Come back here. Can you go bye bye now? You go bye bye. You can you, you can go. What? Go bye bye. Go bye bye. Crush. You snooze, you lose. Well, it's an elevator. The job of an elevator is to take me up and down, not take me that will take me to my destination. Destin, what the fuck is the word? What? Take me to the floor I want to go to. Give me this. This must be it. They may very well have already made a copy of it, but without my uncle as their puppet, there'd be no use in them attacking the city. The Fatui wouldn't have relied only on your uncle. True. But if their plan had hinged purely on taking Mondstadt by force, as opposed to with the help of a puppet, they could have spared themselves the trouble. The Fatui are dishonest, but they wouldn't go as far as to start an open war. Their opposition wouldn't just be Mondstadt alone. That would put... That would be putting the cart before the horses. Anyway, I'll inform the acting Grandmaster. She'll know how to handle things from here. By the way, why did you follow us here? Oh yeah, you suddenly appeared at just the right moment. Yeah, about that. Because you stole my targets by attacking the Fatui I'd been tracking earlier, I came to exact my vengeance. You tried to do my job for me, and I'm here to return the favor. Guess we're even now, right? Finally, after all this time, Paimon understands what you're saying. 
In reality, you sensed that something might happen to us during our investigation. You were worried about us and your uncle, so you brought a team to take a look. My purpose was vengeance. Don't twist the story. <laughs> you don't look too bright, but it turns out you have a knack for scheming. All we do is put a mask on, you know, it's just a simple stuff. And mark my words, I'll remember that. Hey, what do you mean Paimon doesn't look too bright? <laughs> I agree with that statement. Paimon looks so dumb. <laughs> you have seeded a deep enmity between us. Just you wait. Even if you were to be completely destroyed, I would never forget you. So does that make us your arch enemies? Bring it on! <laughs> I like your fighting spirit. I'll take this diagram back to the Knights of Favonius and take it from here. Yes, Bully Paimon. Yes. <laughs> sure. Well, see you around. That you will. And make sure not to steal my targets next time. We'll do our best. Ah! Excuse me. Oh, yeah, let's leave the domain. <coughs> ah! Excuse me. <laughs> Leave the domain. We can do that quest in just a minute. I actually want to check how how much longer we have on this. Fifteen days, so we could probably go on for another week. Yeah. Um. Mm, right. We're meant to do character stuff. As meant. Sorry. <laughs> I created another universe and founded paradise. For I, Fischl, and the princess and Defer er oh. Well, I don't really expect them to come out loud. I usually don't have loud burps, so I usually hold it in enough that you guys don't have to hear that garbage. Mm, so we need to find some lapis. Uh, not lapis. Some Actually, yeah, lapis. We got a lot. Find some lapis and then get rid of the geohypostasis. Um, we'll get that ready for Zhongli. Um, but we'll level up um, Kuching since we have already ascended her. So we'll have to remember to grab some core lapis. Um, let's see. Okay, we got some materials to use. Oops. Shing. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we need to find this again. So give me a second. Oh, thank you so much for the head pads, Puri. Welcome, welcome. Let me get that while I'm here. <laughs> Hey Bixby. Hey Bixby. Set a timer for five minutes. I'll start your timer for five minutes. <laughs> Thank you. Um, let's see. We have to find those uh witches again. <laughs> we gotta find those witches again. Um, so let's go find some witches. Reset. Just have the teleporter and the domains, and then we'll find the common enemies. They're elite enemies. There's 29 of them, so. Okay, so I remember there's one in Stormbearer's Point. Stormbearer's Point, right? It shouldn't take. It should. They just re. They. I hope they. They. they I hope that they just respawn. And I don't have to go looking for them. Okay, so I remember that there is definitely one here, but where she is exactly is an illusion. No, you didn't notice me, fuck off. I believe she's down here somewhere. She should be just here, I think. Stop following me, oh my god. Oh my god. I would have thought those things were persistent. Where is she? Where is she? Huh? 
Um, that's not what I'm looking for. Oh, there she is. There she is. Oh, she saw me first. Oh, I okay. can Okay. Oh, where'd she go? Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Um, what did you want to do? Oh no! Ah, you guys didn't say anything. I already beat the first bitch. <laughs> I already beat the first bitch. Oh, I need, I need four more. Man, you guys didn't say anything. <laughs> um Okay, next one is up at Bright Crown Canyon. Oh. Bright Crown uh, Bright Crown Canyon. Uh that's the wrong button. Uh over here. Guys didn't say anything. We didn't see the first bitch die. Okay, so she should be on the edge here. Question mark. Oh yeah, I see her. She's right there. She's right there. Look at that bitch. Look at her completely oblivious. Are you solidified? <laughs> Are you solidified? Uh, I didn't though. This was really hurt. No. Only I'm allowed to amuse myself. You cannot amuse me. Uh, you cannot amuse yourself in my presence. Get that shit out of here. Mm, okay, two more, two more. So I need to find one more bitch, right? You guys can see this map. It's fine. Um, let's see. Okay, so there's one there. I can go get her. We can go get her. She's, um, here. Yeah. Let's go. Um, up here, I believe. Oh. So it should be around here. Right? Oh, wait, I probably shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. A pig just charged at me. Um, yeah, we gotta do a bit of climbing, but that's fine. It's fine. It was just one bitch. It's not like you guys would. It's not new. Okay, there she is. There she is. There you hey. Are. Oh, I'm so sorry. Allow me. Beg for mercy. shine no longer. That was way too easy. That was way too easy, hang on. That was way too easy. That was so easy. That was so easy. Okay, let's see. Hopefully we can upgrade it now. Yes, let's go. Look, it glows now. It glows now. Interesting. Okay, let's do the next one. <laughs> we can't even get the other stuff. Because it's not, it's not, it's not. Uh. Oh, we can enhance this though. Klee's book. We'll enhance Klee's book and it'll be the most magical book that Klee has ever seen. There we go. Okay, we'll have to wait for the next one to do anything else. So... Adventure stuff. This one. Oh, where did I get these? Oh. Interesting. Let's attack, 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 attack. What the fuck? Oh. Okay, Diona has it, so let's just upgrade the rest then. 
I'll just use these for the um the other stuff. So we'll do the lucky dog next. Oh, actually, while I remember, I might as well upgrade these while I have the chance. Because there's no way I'm going to be able to upgrade them otherwise. Uh, let's see. So this one is cryo damage. Okay, I didn't put it on him, which is kind of weird, but uh, okay. I already have it. I already have it. Next one is down here. Attack. I'm pretty sure we have one of those. Let me just quickly do the most boring thing in the entire world and then we'll continue on our venture. To those of you who weren't here right at the oop. To those of you who weren't here right at the beginning, happy white day, everybody. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I hope you've given some, uh, some desserts of some kind to your, um, significant other or whoever, whomever has already given you some chocolates for Valentine's Day. HP, HP. Yeah, it's white day. Bet you didn't know that, did you, Yang? <laughs> it's white day today. No. <laughs> oh, you didn't get chocolates for a hubby? Ah, oh, that's so sad. R.I.P. <laughs> chocolates, marshmallows. Y you still have some time. You can go get some marshmallows. We give food every day. <laughs> Well, at least you get food every day. Healing bonus. Yep, got that one. Got attack because it's on her. I gave him a cake. <gasps> you gave him a cake? Oh, wow. Did you, did you make it? Did you make the cake? You guys should try Yang's cakes. They're so good. Her homemade cakes. I had the... Uh, what was it? Was it peach? It was like a peach cake or, or something like that. I can't remember what it was. What was it? Remind me what it was. I can't remember. It was nice though. It was a very nice cake. It was a peach cake? Yeah. It was a good peach cake. It was a good peach cake. Okay. <laughs> Back to the matter at hand. Peach lem 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 <laughs> Run 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 as far as your long legs can take you Jongli Let's go oh. Hello Luca <laughs> Hello there So you must be the renowned traveler. Uh, that's a me. Hey, don't forget about the equally renowned Paimon. You don't do anything. Shut up. Even the guy at the back's like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Well, it just so happens that our tavern, Angel Share, is hosting mm. a bartender's academy week. Ooh. I'm hoping the event might interest you. I would love to go shaka shaka. Basically, you'll have full access to all of our ingredients to mix cocktails or any other drink you please. Uh, what about bubble tea? Well, can I can I make some bubble tea? Paimon offers a lot of things. Like what? Explain. What does she What does she um offer exactly? What does she offer? Explain to me. I wish to know. Hang on. My phone's got tangled. 
Oh, they're fully charged anyway. Let me just unplug my phone so that I could save up on electricity. Da da da. Ra da da da. Ra da da da. Her opinions? I don't want to hear her opinions. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you refrain from being wasteful, you can enjoy unlimited refills for the drinks you create. Oh, don't worry. I'm not wasteful. The only one that will be wasteful is Paimon because she'll drink it herself anyways. Unlimited refills. Also, you'll be rewarded handsomely if the guests are happy with your drinks. Ooh. Even well, Paimon is sold. See what? Do you see what I mean? Do you see what I mean? I honestly hate the fact that she's like, oh my god, money! Oh my god, gems! Gimme, gimme, gimme! Like no. Where do we sign up? Oh my god. It's called an academy, but attendance is certainly not mandatory, and you don't have to make your decision right away. You're more than welcome to give it a try first. So, what do you think? Will you give the academy a try? Yes, we'll give it a shot. Great, then please come on in. First, Charles will uh, walk you through some basic techniques. I hate it. I actually hate it. <laughs> I, I visibly hate it. I actually hate it. I absolutely hate it. Hey, I know you two. Yes. So what can I get for you today? Hi, Charles. Hey, Charles. Actually, we came to be bartenders today. Bartenders? Oh, <laughs> so... Luca roped you two in, did he? He's got quite a knack for that. You're certainly talented at handling difficult tasks. There's no doubt about that. But mixing cocktails is a whole different game. It's delicate work and requires a certain amount of finesse. Um, I've mixed bubble tea before. Does that count? Everything from the ratios of your ingredients to your mixing techniques could affect the final product. have a lot in common, you know. All right. I'll take your word for it. Oh, and one more thing. In a previous event, we had a student who arbitrarily mixed three kinds of hard liquor. Just one glass was enough to leave a customer passed out on the floor. Oof. So in light of that incident, we decided to no longer provide alcoholic ingredients to beginners. I hope you'll understand. That's fair. <laughs> Not a problem at all. Great. That just about covers all I have to say. You'll learn all the skills and techniques you need on the fly. Guys, get your get your get your talk, get your cocktail shakers. I'll get mine. Ooh. Okay. Um. Let's do tea. <laughs> Cause we like to do bubble tea. <laughs> Maybe some mint. Yeah. Oh. There's ingredients. Oh, I didn't even look at that. Uh. Okay. Okay, fine. We'll we'll go with what you have. Coffee, milk, and cocoa, right? Coffee, milk, and cocoa. All right, next. Oh, okay. You're just stirring it. We're not even shaking it. I want to shake it. I demand a shake. Huh. This doesn't look like the drink they ordered. Hmm. Just give this one to Paimon and try making another. Oh wait, three shot just have three shots of coffee. One, two, three. Mm, beep 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 beep. Mm. There we go. Three shots of coffee. There you go. Alright, this drink's look drink looking so good. They're looking good. Mmm. You're a quick learner. This tastes pretty good. Hyman agrees. This is amazing. <laughs> that was just practice, though. On the job, customers often will have special requests for their drinks. 
Some may enjoy a stiffer drink, while others might prefer something more sour. Everyone has their own preferences. Adjusting the amounts of the ingredients is always the key. You didn't see, but I, I put my thumbs up and was like, yeah, okay. Jaime would like a caramel pine cone extra sweet in the biggest glass you have. Please and thank you. I'm about to throw her back in the river that I found her in. Well, that's about all there is to it. But to become a truly exceptional bartender, in addition to mixing skills, you'll also need to master conversing with your customers. I'm up to the challenge as long as it's not Paimon. All right. In that case, you two can take this counter. Okay. If you have questions or need any help, just give me a holler. Yes, sir. Oh. Hmm. Class dismissed. I didn't. I totally Wait. didn't just um. So you really did want the caramel pine cone. Well, you're not getting one. Okay. So. Oh. Okay. So we'll do this one first. Wait, what the fuck? Oh. Open business. <gasps> oh. Oh, it's Rosaria. Hi. Well, well, this is a surprise. Uh, I didn't expect to see you two behind the counter today. Kaya. In that case, I'd like a death afternoon. <laughs> I hate you, but I love you. Leave it to Kaya to make things difficult right from the start. Hi, Rosaria. Come now. I just wanted to see how she'd react. I admit I didn't expect to see you here today, Sister Rosaria. With so many demanding customers that frequent the tavern, I only thought I'd help the traveler gain some experience. There he goes with that smooth talk again. <laughs> I like Kaya. Don't get me wrong, I was only trying to be helpful. If anything, you should be thanking me. Now, how about we start with something simple, like a moonlit alley, for instance. Oh, and make it a large, please. A moonlit alley, okay. I'll leave my drink up to you. Just make it a tea of some kind and not too big. Got it. Coming right up. <laughs> Please, take your time. Waiting in anticipation is half the fun. I love Kaya. <laughs> okay, so he wanted a large moonlight alley. Moonlight alley. So that's the thing that I made earlier. So, uh, coffee, milk, and cocoa paste. And then I need to store. And then it must be a large. Boom. Easy. Take your cup. Okay. So she wanted some tea and nothing big. Uh, let's just make some tea and milk then. Mm, should I add the mint? Should I be adventurous? Yes. <laughs> Something minty fresh. Oh, that was something. Okay. Oh, you can have that one then, Rosaria. What is it, Rosaria? You don't like the drink? I can make you another one. No, the drink you made me is fine. It's just that I rarely ever drink tea. The taste always reminds me of certain things. Ah, I presume you're referring to the church? Yes. The church once held an event that I couldn't attend, but Sister Barbara still saved some tea and dessert for me. Aww, that's so sweet. The dessert had already gone stale, so she whisked it away when I wasn't looking. But the tea tasted just like this drink you made me. Oh, really? Boy, you're in rare form today, Rosaria. Sounds to me like Mondstadt's just gained another black tea lover. It's not black tea. I put milk in it. <laughs> I'd prefer something a little stiffer. What about you, Kaya? How's your drink? That depends. If I point out a few flaws, will you make me another one? You cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'd never subject you to such treatment. Gosh, Kaya sure is a tough nut to crack. You never know what'll say next. How can you stand 
to drink with this guy, Rosaya. I'm about to, I was about to throw him away. I said throw her away. Kaya, keep going. <laughs> hmm? I don't really care what's going through his mind as long as we only talk about drinks. Besides, Kaya's only interested in people or things that intrigue him. Mm. Whether that's you, the innkeeper here, or anybody else. I'm intriguing. Hmm. Hey, how could you divulge so much about your dear old drinking buddy? Hmm? <laughs> you think I'm saying too much? <laughs> Get over yourself. It's no big deal. Ugh, I'm constantly surrounded by uptight folks day to day. I prefer the easygoing atmosphere in the tavern. Oh, are we gossiping about people who take themselves too seriously now? Well, speaking of which, I know someone who could easily place in the top three most serious people in Mondstadt. <laughs> Is it d -Luke? As to their level of seriousness? Well, let me put it this way. They probably wouldn't even flinch if I said that to their face. Is it d -Luke? Are there really rankings for people like that? No, it's just a ranking in your head. Hi, of Mark. Course. Just off the top of my head, there's a running list for the most consistent drinkers, hardest workers, worst cooks, or even biggest hoarders of dark secrets. Is that you? <laughs> the Paimon like Mondstadters have way too much time on their hands. I think you need to be quiet. If people have too much time on their hands, it just means that they can do more fun things. Like ranking people! <laughs> Are there really that many people who don't need to work? I think I know who he's talking about. Aw, uh, but what about Paimon? Is there a category that Paimon can be ranked as high as her? Uh, most annoying sidekick? Why, of course. How about... Ah, best bartenders. Really? Oh, look, dude. <laughs> looks in the background. Uh, no. <laughs> didn't You didn't do anything. Well, I must admit, the atmosphere you bring isn't half bad. You can say that again. Just looking at these two brings a smile to my face. Aww. Good bartenders create a nice atmosphere and get people in a good mood. You know, like a mascot. <laughs> so I guess there's really no contest for the title of best bartenders. Nothing. Thanks for your hospitality. No problem. Yeah, I should be going too. By the way, that black tea tasted great. I'll try to make some for myself in the future. If I can manage to get up early enough in the morning, that is. It's not black tea. It had milk in it. Until next time. Please, come again. And this time, make sure you say it's the right type of tea. Please. Oh, it's Delux turn. Hi. Hey. Oh, it's Master Diluc. What brings you here? Do you have nothing to do today? <laughs> Me? Nothing to do? Don't count on it. I heard you two were working as bartenders, so I thought I'd drop by to see how you're coming along. Just admit it, you are worried about us. Wow, you really do catch wind of things quickly. So... Tell me, how do you like being a bartender? Well, actually, we just started. <sighs> yeah, it's still a little too early to tell. We haven't been at it for very long. It's very easy. I kind of wish we were shaking something, though, instead of stirring. Just tell me your initial feelings. Okay. Excited, confused, anything. How does it feel to be a bartender? Uh, he is so invested. <laughs> it's a new experience. I see. You're not the one stirring. Get out of here. Hi, man's initial feeling is drinks taste good. <laughs> good. I'm happy for you. Now, could you make me a Grey Valley sunset then? I'll leave the size up to you. Okay. Sure, I'll get that started for you. Great. Take your time. Okay. I'll give him a large. He looks like a large man. <laughs> okay, uh, what was it he wanted us to make? I got distracted. Uh, a Grey Valley Sunset. Is that a juice? Yes, it is. Oh, okay. Sir, just want a juice. 
I guess I'll just give him a medium cup. Bip. I lied. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. So you do realize you just ordered something with three shots of juice, right? It's all about the ingredients. If the fruit are fresh and juicy, then the drink will naturally be sweet and tasty without adding anything extra. Sounds like I should thank the soil of Mondstadt. <laughs> it just so happens that Grey Valley Sunset is the first drink I ever mixed. Oh. I was still quite young. My father laid oh. out several ingredients and told me to experiment with them. No requirements and no instruction. In hindsight, he probably just wanted to test my creativity. In the end, I just made a glass of fruit punch. Much like this one. Duh. Oh? But why fruit punch? My father was equally surprised. I didn't really put much thought into it. I just figured that it would taste sweet looking back on it i was so young and naive i wouldn't be so sure oh i'm sure your father thought it was a good drink i never thought about it i suppose my father didn't say a word at the time ah he's so cute but thank you by the way there's something i'd like to give you Ooh, a present. But I suppose it's better to wait. Until what? You have more experience with your bartender job. No. I have no doubt that you'll do very well. I want a present. And Paimon will uh, uh, be rooting for you. <laughs> very well. Then I look forward to seeing your good work. Okay. Come back soon when you have a minute. Bye bye. Okay, so... Oh, okay, so I just unlock more. I see, I see. Okay, okay. Oh, a Jungli is gonna come by. Heck yeah. Alright, alright. Uh, talk to Luca. Talk to Luca and then enter the tavern. Okay, so Luca's outside. Oh, pff, Jesus Christ, you're right in front of my face. Oh, what a lovely day. Well, are you ready for a taste of bar the bartender life? Uh, let's give it a shot. Wonderful. I wish you a good luck as well. Today as well. <laughs> 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 Another familiar face. Two familiar faces. Oh, looky, 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 looky. Hi there, cutie. It's good to see you. Oh my god. <laughs> it is certainly unusual for us to meet in a place like this. But as Lisa said, I'm glad to see you. Hey, what do you mean by a place like this? The tavern is a wonderful place to relax and unwind a little. Mm, for some people. Not for me, though. The tavern's not really my style. <sighs> do you have any idea how hard it was for me to drag the acting grandmaster away from her desk? I imagine it was quite a tasking matter. We've only been here for a few minutes, and worry is already written all over her face. <sighs> Lisa. Well, the Knights of Favonius do have a lot to handle. Yeah, is this the acting grandmaster we're talking about? It's only natural that she has a lot on her plate. But you know what they say, now that we're already here. Uh, why don't you let her mix a couple of drinks for you two? It'll make you feel a lot better. Think of it as a way to unwind. Honestly, Jean is the only person I know who needs to be taught how to relax. Hey, cutie, whip me up a love poem. Medium, extra sweet. And how about you, Jean? What are you in the mood for? I'll just have coffee. Medium, please. Master Jean, you drink coffee all the time. Wouldn't you like to try something else? Thanks, but no. I want something to help keep me awake. <laughs> Got it. Coming right up. Thanks. She said coffee. She didn't say what type of coffee. Okay, so she wants a love poem. Extra sweet. How do I make something extra sweet? Do I put more caramel in it? Love poem. Uh, 
I guess I do make it with more... Do I make it with more caramel? Tea... Mm. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, I just add more caramel. Yeah. All right, next. Dip, 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 dip. She wants a medium. Boom, medium, perfect. Okay, she wants a coffee. She didn't say what type of coffee. So should I just give her one of these? Because she wants it strong and keeps it her awake, right? Something strong and will keep her awake. Boop, 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 boop. Boop. There you go, Jean. Some coffee. Mmm. The sweetness is just right. Mmm, very good. Thank you. Mmm, the coffee is strong and rich with just a nice hint of bitterness to it. I'm glad you both like your drinks. Actually, I do understand what you meant, Lisa. Hmm? I've been reflecting on my weaknesses lately. There's still room for me to improve in many areas, such as my productivity and management. Oh, here she goes. I'm concerned my stress may even be starting to somehow affect you as well. I think you still don't quite understand. What? <laughs> See? Cutie knows. You were working yourself way too hard, so I thought I'd take you out for some drinks. All I wanted was for you to have some fun. But even in the tavern, you're still thinking about work. That's what's most concerning. If you're constantly under stress like this, it's only a matter of time before you burn out. Exactly. Oh. You also agree with Lisa, Travel? B duh. <laughs> hmm. So, is learning to relax actually my biggest challenge? To quote a saying from Leeway, everything has a balance. Yep. Work hard, play hard, and rest even harder. The two of you may need even more rest than you'd expect. That's an interesting way to put it. <laughs> All right, I... I understand. Thank you. All of you. Now I know that this place serves refreshments for both the body and the mind. Is that why you and Kaya like the tavern so much? I don't think that's why. Yes and no. It really depends on who's making the drinks. Speaking of which, we couldn't have changed Jean's mind without you today. You sure have a way with words, cutie. I'm glad I could help. <laughs> I learned we'll it from Kaya. <laughs> I'll consider coming here to relax if I have another opportunity. Sounds great. Take care, you two. Bye bye. Jung, <gasps> Jung. Hello, hello, sir. Jung hmm? Lee. Ah, traveler. Good to see you. I trust you are well. Hello. Oh my god. Oh my god. Every time I hear them say his name, my heart aches. It's Zhong Li! Ah! If I am to roam about the world, then I certainly mustn't limit my destinations. The free and prosperous land of wind is as splendid a place to visit as any. And ah. it's quite a pleasant surprise to run into you here. Can I... We can chat over a cup of tea? One misty garden, please. I take my tea strong, thank you. Oh, okay. Double tea it is then. Misty garden. Misty garden, misty garden. Oh. <laughs> it's just tea. Okay. One, two, three. Maybe four? Bam. Misty Garden. You didn't say how big you wanted that cup, but uh, assuming that um, your dragon form is anything to go by, I'll give you a large cup. Sorry to keep you waiting. Enjoy. Mm. The tea is clear and glows with a pleasing hue. 
Its richness is complemented by a floral and fruity fragrance. Exquisite. Wow. So Zhang Li is even ah! Zhang Li. Zhang Li, not Zhang Li. It's Zhang Li. Paimon usually just gulps down the tea and says something simple like, Mmm, yummy, yummy in Paimon's tummy. Mm, shows what you know. I do like tea. It's very fragrant, very delicious, very... Ah. Uh, Nice and warm when you have it hot, but absolutely yummy when you have it cold. Mindfully savoring the tea shows due respect to the person that brewed it for you. Tea of good quality is hard to come by, and those capable of brewing tea according to the occasion and emotions even more so. <laughs> You're too kind. Oh, Paimon gets it now. So, could you teach Paimon how to savor tea like you do? Seems you smell it first and drink it, right? That's correct. Every type of tea is unique. The more you drink, the more you will understand the subtle differences. Smelling the aroma will reveal the quality of the tea. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Lower grade teas emit a musty and seemingly scorched scent. Whereas ones with a delicate yet soothing aroma are usually of a higher quality. If you want to be more particular, According to Liyue ancient tradition, you could acquire a vintage goblet, which is used specifically for examining the aroma. Oh no! All this time, Paimon's been missing out on her tea! Not oh, too, too bad. Knowledge is vast. It's never too late to learn. That's true. As a beginner, you can try this method. First, observe the color. Then, mm. smell the fragrance. And finally, take a sip. Remember, you can understand anything as long as you approach it in the proper order. I'd like to know more. Chowing Village in Northwest Liyue is famous for their tea industry. Achia, achia. It would be well worthwhile the visit when you get the chance. What I shared with you today are mostly my own habits as an old-fashioned Liyue local. <laughs> old-fashioned. Very old-fashioned. Each region has its own tea traditions and culture. One should always respect the conventions of the local region. Paimon gets it. Uh, but whether Paimon can remember it all is another story. <laughs> Classic Paimon. <laughs> Thank you for such excellent tea. It made my trip out here all the more worthwhile. Ah, you're so welcome. Ah. <laughs> if you ever come to manage a tea house... I will certainly be a regular. Mm -mm. Don't worry. Min's mother has been talking about opening a bubble tea shop. Um, if you want, Mr. Zhongli, you are more than welcome to come and visit. Well, we're already pretty busy. I don't think we'll have time to manage a side hustle at a tea house. Shut up, Paiwan. Well, who knows? Regardless, you have my complete support. Let's ah! I won't take more of your time. All the best with your new pursuit. Oh, 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 wait, about the bill. <laughs> ah, yes. The bill. Uh, just put it on Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor's tab, as usual. <laughs> Take care. Give our regards to the director. He forgot his money again. What a silly boy. What a silly, silly, silly archon. Next one, last three. Oh, wait, um, what's Bip, bip, bip. What a silly, distracted little man. <laughs> He's a distracted, distracted archon. Hello. Ah, oh, what a lovely day. Are you ready? Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I forgot buddy. Yeah, the bill. I forgot buddy. <laughs> Classic Zhongli. Yula. Where's Yula? Yula! Why are the two cryo girls sitting alone? That's so sad. A small foamy reef, please. She's already drunk. She's already drunk. Eula? I... I'm fine. No, she's drunk. She's drunk. Huh? There's something off about Eula. 
Was she already drinking before she got here? But foamy wreath had coffee in it. Would it upset her stomach if she had coffee after liquor? For her tummy's sake, let's water it down before serving it to her. Ah, <laughs> uh, a small foamy wreath, please. Foamy wreath, coffee. Okay, so two coffee, two water. For her tummy. Fast fingers. Oh fuck! No, I thought I was gonna start from the bottom. Huh. This doesn't look like. Shut up. Wait, hang on. Was it two? Yeah, it's two. Maybe I didn't see it right. <laughs> I don't get it. Why can't it start from the bottom? Yeah, it started from the bottom that time. What the fuck? Oh, this tastes pretty good. <laughs> wow. She didn't even notice how much water we added. She must have had a lot to drink. One more, bartender. <laughs> oh, wait. Water down, yeah. It's you guys? <laughs> you only just noticed now? <laughs> you only just now noticed us? <sighs> Sorry. I just came here from the cat's tail. Perhaps uh? I had a little too much to drink. Is something troubling you? Yeah, it's pretty lonely to drink by yourself. You'll feel better if you talk to us. I suppose I always do drink alone. As long as I'm in Mondstadt, I'll never be welcome at taverns. Aww. I was actually feeling good today and wanted a drink, but they still wouldn't get off my back. <sighs> Tell me, how did you manage to make so many friends? You talk to them? I don't know how to answer that question. People always sound so appreciative and are always smiling when they talk about you. But as for me, just mentioning my family name is enough to make everyone. Hey, don't think like that. She's gonna start crying and then she's gonna start vomiting. You didn't choose to be born into the Lawrence clan. Care about that kind of thing. The Eula we know is a great person, but you don't like being straightforward. You always pretend to hold a grudge, and you try to hide your tenderness away from everyone. Hey, who said I was pretending? Others will accept you, Eula. Do you think so? Yeah. <laughs> it's impossible to imagine, <laughs> even when I'm this drunk. Oh. Even after being a knight of Favonius for all this time, people still. <sighs> Whatever. Winds always change their course. Oh, right! Time to fart said something wise like that, too. Just be yourself, Eula, and keep moving forward. Sooner or later, you'll change what people think about the Lawrence clan. Yes, just be patient. Okay. Thank you. I, <clears throat> I, sh I should go now. <laughs> Would you like me to walk you back before you stumble into someone? Mm, no need. I want to remember what you said. And I won't be able to think about anything else until I write everything down. Girl, you need, you need, you need... <laughs> You need to sleep. You need to sit down. Take a rest because you're so drunk. You sure is a lot more open after a few drinks. But it does feel like something's missing without her signature revenge line. Uh oh. When she wakes up in the morning, do you think she'll come threatening us to forget what happened today? Mm, maybe. Okay, Ningguang and Beidou next. 
Yeah, happy white day. Ahoy, traveler. Great timing. Join us for a round? Traveler. What a pleasant surprise. What are you two doing here? I wasn't expecting anyone else from Liwei after Zhongli. Wait, did you two come together? Duh! Otherwise they wouldn't be sitting on the same table, would they? Fucking Paimon! Well, this lady decided on a whim that she wanted a little vacation, so we ended up traveling around the area. Ah, she went on a vacation? She asked you? Aww. But I guess we have different ideas of vacation. We hardly hiked the mountains before we came here to put our feet up. Talk about spoiled. <laughs> Come now. No need to hurt anyone's feelings. Besides, I specifically chose this place because I knew how much you like to drink. But our captain here has seen a lot more of the world, so she's not exactly thrilled with this little tavern. <laughs> It'll do. Anyway, this one's on me, okay? Beto's paying? Uh, does that include us? We're the bartenders, Paimon! Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Guess that's just a habit now. <sighs> And what can I get for you two lovely ladies? I'll have a small birch sap on the sour side. Okay. Uh, I will have a large dusk, please. Thanks. Got it. Coming right up. Okay, so she wanted a birch sap. Which one's that? Oh, it's juice. Okay. Okay. One, two, one, two. Some lemon juice. That was an easy one. Give her a large cup because she has a large cup of water sitting right next to her. <laughs> huh. This doesn't look like the drink they ordered. What are you talking? Oh, she wanted a small one. Excuse me, I'll do it again. I didn't see small. Okay, you get a small one. Is that better? Is that better? Is this what you wanted? Damn, it looks the same to me. Dusk. A large dusk. One T, two... One and two. And this one, she wants it large. She wants it large. She wants it large. Excuse me. Ugh. Beep. You say that. Hmm. Hmm. Why is it making you nervous? Is why <laughs> what? Mm, the bittersweet taste of nostalgia. <laughs> you mean the taste of going from rags to riches? Just what kind of taste is that? <laughs> it's mainly sour with just a tinge of sweetness and a lingering aftertaste. Interesting. Does it taste like starting a little business then discovering that selling fruit isn't very lucrative? No need to get into the details. Let's leave the past in the oh, past. Oh, <laughs> they have back. They have backstory. <laughs> Who'd have thought that the dignified Tianjuan was once a fruit vendor on the street? <sighs> on the other hand, I bet few can tell that I'm from an ordinary fishing village, right? I mean, people can tell you that you probably came from a fishing background. Not necessarily. If you ask me... I'd say that Captain Beto has eyes that can pierce the sea. You're an adventure-seeking pioneer who tames the wind and the waves. Which is clearly indicative of someone who grew up by the sea. Hey, you're not mocking me, are you? I don't know about you, Beto, but that sounded like the biggest compliment she could possibly give you. Come now. It wouldn't do any good to be sarcastic. I know how fierce you can be with words. It's my treat today, so remember to take it easy on me. All right. Then I'd like to have a few more. Another drink for the lovely lady? Well, you heard the good lady, bartender. <laughs> oh, I like where this is going. 
I'll have another round too. Thanks for the mm. hydrate. Monstat's fresh fruit juice is hard to top. I wish I could enjoy some every day. <laughs> Are you serious? Don't tell me you're gonna open a Sunsetia trade room now. <laughs> An interesting proposition. Oh, okay, good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Make sure you dream of your hubby. <laughs> Wait. Uh huh? Really? I'm just joking, of course. There's already a whole industry established for that. They don't need me muscling my way into their business. Thanks for the drinks today. If you'd ever like a cushy job, I'd enjoy having ah! a ah! 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 Yang has become so naughty. You're also welcome aboard the airplane. <laughs> the crew loves to drink. You could come face with us. I promise you'd have a blast. Oh my god, if anyone has has Oh, I wonder if the random sound alert will will play the FBI open up. My my. Captain Beto, are you competing with me for talent? That's hardly necessary. You need something so far What the hell was that? Uh, <laughs> I guess that works too. <laughs> That's the horny horn. That's the horny horn. Nati, 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 bunk, bunk. I'm so, I'm so popular. Uh, is it Paimon, or does it sound like they think you work for them? Okay, I'll visit you both. I promise. Last one. It's Shen He. Hi there. Paimon would be more surprised to see you if we hadn't already seen a bunch of our friends. Huh? Wait, you're Shen He. This is a surprise. This place isn't easy to find. Angels share. Hm, the name doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. Mr. Zhong Li was kind enough to help me with directions. Oh, I'm thankful. <laughs> Mr. Zhong Li, yes. You needed help with directions? Wait. You came all this way just for a drink? That's right. Because we're friends. Aww. She's so sweet. What would you like? Here's the menu. Boreal watch. Hmm. Boreal? As in a cold climate. Well, Boreal watch here probably is referring to the wolf of the north. So, yeah, you could say it's cold. Caramel pine cone. How could that be a drink? Oh, Paimon's tried that one. It's actually caramel flavored coffee. Heinkun just refers to the color. Huh? These names are confusing. I can't make sense of any of these. I'll leave it up to you. As long as it's something that tastes like Qingxin or violet grass. Uh, those medicinal herbs don't grow around here. If you want something bitter, then it has to be coffee. How about something sweet instead? Fine. That's a good idea. You've practiced the Adepti arts long enough. It's time for something new. Let's make Shen a snow-covered kiss. It sounds like a perfect fit for her. Give her a kiss. Snow-covered kiss. That's a juice, isn't it? Yeah. One, two, one. Give her a big cup. My toes are itchy. Anyone else get that when their toes are itchy? They just can't scratch it. 
You're a big cup. The biggest cup. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. It's sweet and smooth. Not bitter at all. What is it? It's called a snow-covered kiss. Whisk milk until it froths, then gently pour it over some juice. It looks like it's covered by a layer of snow. Don't ask why it's called a kiss, though. Diamond doesn't get it either. It's probably just a gimmick to get it to sell better. No, I think it's because you get the kiss. You get a kiss. You get a kiss. Mm. <laughs> uh, gimmick. Uh, Diamond's just guessing. Maybe it's more of a romantic description. Romantic. Uh, it's hard to explain. Stop making Paimon come up with things. It's kind of like snow on the mountain. Mm -hmm, that's right. The moment you taste the sweetness of the juice. Oh wait, this one sounds better. Like a sprout pushing through the ice to give you oh. a kiss. I see. I seem to understand now. Oh, really? But wait, why is Paimon the one who's confused now? Occasionally I chew on divine herbs as I wander about in the mountains. I have witnessed the moment a new sprout breaks through the soil. The elation in my heart then does bear a resemblance to what I'm experiencing now. Aww. Thank you for helping me understand these obscure names. I might need your help again sometime in the future. Ah, uh, there you go. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Yay, complete. It is complete. We now have a cocktail shaker. Bartender challenge. Oh. Oh. Consider it done. Consider it done. Consider it done. May these challenges be... Oh. Hang on. I'm going to change the title. I just realized I didn't do that. Give me a second. I'm going to change the title. Because uh, I didn't realize that. Okay. Okay. There we go. How's that for a title? Drinks are out? Come by the bar. Boats are made for transferring commodities back and forth. Mm, and those that come across Leo tend to stay a while. Though it is where many things come to set. Mm -hmm. <sighs> wow. Get a taste of the Luca. Hi, sir. Okay, let's get as many points as we can. Um. Oh. I am ready. Let's start the challenge. Snow covered kiss. Uh, this is juice. Right? Snow covered kiss. Oh, shit. Oh, yes, actually, I got it. Large and don't forget extra milk. Oh. Snow covered kiss, extra milk. Oh, we got another order. Sir, here you go. Wonderful. Um, a Grey Valley sunset, please. Grey Valley Sunset. Three. Three juice. One, two, three. And it's large and nothing extra. It's just a large cup. We'll do fine. We'll do fine. Beep. There you go. There you go, sir. Uh, one medium foamy reefs. One medium foamy reef. Okay. Okay. Uh, medium foamy reef. Okay. Mm. 
There you go, medium foe Miri. Enjoy! Extra strong, medium, misty garden. Misty garden. Okay. One, two, three, four. And they want a medium one. A medium. Medium tea. There you go. Enjoy! Uh, one large foamy reef with extra fizz. You want a large cup. There you go. There is your large foamy fizz kit at here. Extra strong athenium. One, two, three, four. Just a small one? Okay. I almost clicked the wrong button. They want a small drink. Boop. There you go, sir. Enjoy. Uh, a strong dusk. Uh, how do you make it strong? Oh, one large. Sorry. <laughs> I read it wrong. There you go. And you want a large cup? There's your order. Here you go, ma'am. One dusk. Just a small one will do? Okay, then. Don't you dare. Let me finish this order at least. No, you bitch! No, I was so close! Uh, you ass. Yes. Claim this. Claim this. Claim this. Beautiful. Okay, so we want to get 500 points. Charles! Charles! I want to take part in another challenge. Let's go. Let's go! You want love poem with extra sweet and extra milk. Love poem. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. And you want extra milk and extra sweet. Let's go. And she wants a large. Perfect! Okay, here is your tea. Birch sap and sour. Birch sap. Birch sap. Two. Two juice. Two this. He said sour, so I mean, I assume he means he wants it extra sour. Alright, here you go. Wonderful. Love poem, medium. So that's tea. Tea, milk, caramel, caramel. Because she wants it sweeter. And then she wants a medium cup. She wants a medium cup. Bam, medium cup. Have your wonderful love poem. Uh, birch sap on the sour side. And he wants a medium as well. Oh, we got a new customer already. Here you go. Medium birch sap. Have fun. Enjoy. A birch sap. No, oh, a normal birch sap. And he wants a large one. A large birch sap. Here you go. Uh, caramel pine cone. Oh, I thought that was a uh, coffee. What? Oh, I don't have it. Milk coffee. Milk coffee with caramel. Extra sweet, extra milk. I hope. 
if that's correct. And she wants it what? Large. Here you go. Oh, I did it! Moonlit Alley. Extra milk. Moonlit Alley. Extra milk. She wants a medium. There you go. Medium moonlit alley. Oh, moon alley. She wants a small one. Bip. There you go. Enjoy. Gold. Oh. <laughs> Okay, fine. I won't do that order. Um, I don't want a hand. I just want to move on to the next challenge. Actually, I should probably learn all of the stuff first. Okay, so I need to learn all these recipes. Classic coffee with a small amount of foam. So maybe two coffee? Two coffee and a bit of milk. Any size will do. Wonderful! I did it! Okay. So that's another coffee. This one is milk. Coffee and milk. Fragrant and intense. So coffee and milk. So mint, maybe? I think it's milk. I mean mint, not milk. What? Oh, what? Hang on. So... Maybe it is lemon. Oops. Still nothing. What? Give me a hint! Uh, uh, brilliant, brilliant combination of coffee and milk. Is it just coffee and milk? No, that can't be it. Is it just one coffee, one milk? There's no way. Nothing. Coffee. The other recipe has two milk, right? No, it's two coffee. Is it two milk, maybe? I'm gonna be so annoyed if it's literally just coffee and milk. And they named it something so obscure. Oh my god! I hate it here. It's literally just coffee and milk. Um, and like a mix of born with tea and milk. Tea and milk. So it's just tea and milk, straight up. I hate it here. <laughs> I'm just making some coffee and some tea. Because I'm not allowed to do anything else. I don't have- I'm not allowed to have alcohol. No alcohol in my bar. Okay, I'm guessing this one's actually... Oh. Two tea, one milk. There we go. We got it. Next one. We're gonna unlock all of these so that we don't have to worry about it. Uh, tea means cocoa paste. Milk tea. So, boop, boop, boop. Boop. 
beep, 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 beep. We got it! Laughter and cheer. Okay, next one. It's the last one. Classic black tea. Slightly sweet, slightly sour. Oh, shit. Nope, that's not what I meant. Maybe? We'll see. Something tells me that it has... Because of those lesser ones, I think this is not... Yeah, I didn't think so. It's 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 nasty. Hang on, let's see what it says. <sighs> A classic way to drink black tea. Slightly sweet and sour to taste. This is definitely not it. This is definitely not it. Yeah, it's not it. It's just not it. Mm. It's black tea. We'll try that. It's not gonna... Oh, it's definitely not it. I don't know what it is then. Do I have to look this one up? I might have to look this one up. The hint they're giving is not very helpful. A classic way of drinking black tea. Slightly sweet and sour to taste. You'd think that because it's sweet and sour that there's this and this in there. But there isn't. So, is it just that? Maybe? No, it's not. It's definitely not it. Huh. I'm gonna look it up. I'm looking it up. We're just looking for the one. We don't need anything else. Uh, the black tea one. Which one was it called? Tart Brilliant. Oh, it's just lemon! Ah! Holy shit! Love, you scared the crap out of me. Love, you scared the crap out of me. Well, thanks for the hydrate, though. I'll take that. You scared me. <laughs> Why'd you scare me like that, love? Welcome, welcome, though. There we go. We got it eventually. I had to get the website to find out what it was. Okay. Fruit base. Silky smooth. Fruit juice as a base. Silky smooth. It's okay, it's okay, don't worry about it. Maybe? I'll try this one first. Nope. This one is two, two fruits, two fruits. Okay, I know, that's nasty, get out of here. That's so wrong. <coughs> ah! Excuse me. Oh, that's correct. Well, there's the Dawning Dew. Okay, so we got Dawning Dew. Uh, bubbling fizzy juice. It's refreshing effect. These two, the hints aren't great. 
We're gonna cheat a little bit. So this one's got mint in it. And then the other one is milk. What? It's milk? It's milk? I don't get it. My throat made a funny noise. You don't put milk in juice. Who puts milk in juice? Have your milky juice. That's so nasty. What was the other thing? Oh, fizzy. Fizzy, fizzy. That's so nasty. Imagine having milky juice. That's so weird. Okay, I'm committed to figure out what this one is. This one... There's no way that this is going to be hard. So it has milk in it. And it has two bases. So, uh, two bases, milk. I'm just going to pick random ones. And we'll just do the... Yeah. Don't tell me I got it right on the first try. I got it right on the first try. Well, that's all the drinks, right? Yeah, that's all the drinks. Nice. Okay, let's get out of here. And then we finish up with the challenges. Silence. I know we're gonna go over time, but I don't care. We're gonna finish this event. Knights of Swirling. So one, two, extra milk. And they want medium. And they want a medium, medium cup of coffee. There is your medium Knight of Swirling Stars. Enjoy. I like coffee, tea, and milk. Okay, coffee, tea, milk. At the same time, I don't mind... If you don't mind, I like a large size drink too. Yes, you you may have a large size drink. Have your large cup. Have here you go. Boreal watch. What was it again? Uh, Boreal watch. Okay, so tea, milk, mint, extra mint, extra mint. God Jesus, they didn't want me to put in the extra mint. They didn't want the extra mint. They want a medium cup. Have your medium cup. There you go. Um, smooth, smooth juice. Smooth juice. Smooth juice. Smooth. Smooth. Is it dusk? Maybe it's just the regular juice. I'm gonna go with it. I hope it's correct. Here you go. Huh? Oh yeah. He wants uh, wait. Some of that smooth uh, fruit juice. You're not giving me many hints here. Oh, it's right here. Oh my god, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up! <laughs> she has a small one. Here, have your stupid small juice. Fucking hell. One large juice, please. Simple. Okay. This better be what you want, because if it's not, I'm going to be super pissed. Have your stupid juice. One large sweet cider lake. Cider lake. Was it the juice? Oh yeah, it is. Right here. Extra milk. And they want it large. You got it. Oops. And 
There is your large cup of juice. A medium stroke of night. Stroke of night. Oh. Uh, with extra milk? Yes. Oh god, hurry up. They want a medium, medium, medium. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I swear to fucking god. No! Was that enough, though? <laughs> was that enough? Oh, it was, it was, it was. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it was enough, it was enough. Um, I'd like a refreshing fizzy juice. Fizzy juice. So... Two, one. Two, one, small. Oh, Nakami! Nakami, thank you so much for the raid. Give me a second, I'm just making some juice right now. Nakavi, thank you so much for the raid. Uh, what? That's not what you wanted? You little shit. What do you want then? Oh, okay. Let's try this one. Hang on, I'll greet you guys if I wouldn't on a timer. Uh, uh hang on, I'm gonna greet you guys while I'm doing this, okay? Thank you so much for the raid, Nakavi. Welcome, raiders. <laughs> That, that I would have fucking think. <laughs> Barbados's boon. Isn't that what I just made? It was what I just made. That's not what I wanted. Uh, extra fizz. Uh, hello, Raiders. My name is Phantom. I'm a Persona VTuber. Uh, I do variety streaming here on Twitch. I'm currently playing Genshin right now. I'm an artist, voice actor, and content creator. Um... I post other content on YouTube as well. Welcome to the show, everybody, and I hope you enjoy yourselves here. Nakabi, I can't give you a shout out right now. I'll give you a shout out after I finish serving these peeps. But what did you stream? A medium laugh. Okay. Medium, medium, medium. What did you stream? Did you have a good time? I'm having a good time right now, yeah. Oh, fuck. I almost missed it. <laughs> Uh, okay. Was it tea or coffee? It was tea. What did you stream? Did you have fun? I just need two more customers minimum. Bah. I have your cup. And selenium extra strong. One, two, three, four. And they want a medium cup. Medium cup. Ah, oh, easy. They're giving me easies. Beep. Here you go. Thank you. Barbo Barbados's boon is extra fizz and extra mint. And then she wants a large. You haven't played Genshin in so long? Uh, a lot of people have said that, actually. That they haven't played Genshin in a while? Did I make it wrong? I made it wrong. Wait, is it juice? Oh, I think it was juice. Oh, it was juice! I accidentally made the wrong thing. Never mind, never mind. I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid. <laughs> oh no, can I make this one? Can I make it? I won't make it. Nope. Yep. It's <laughs> oh well. I, I managed to get the events done though at least. Look at this. I finished it now. Woo! Consider it done. I am now the bartender of Mondstadt. Bow before me. <laughs> Um, oh, I can change my name card. Mwahahaha. I leave the tavern. Okay. Honestly, Nakami, you have such a wonderful time to raid me, huh? I was actually gonna finish as soon as I was done with that. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Your timing is impeccable. <laughs> Hang on, let me let me quickly give you a shout out, right? Oh. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Why did it do it again? It did it again. It's like, hey, yeah, this person's raiding. <laughs> My alert came up again. Let me just get it out of the game so you don't have to hear it in the background. Yeah. Man, you have such impeccable timing. Give it to let me! Can you let me type? Let me type, game! Oh, you're playing Legends of Heroes. Was that fun? Was it good? Was it any good? Did you have any fun? Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you get any evil people? Did you get any evil doers? You have such impeccable timing. Wow. Um, okay, the VODs. The VODs should be coming up again uh, starting tomorrow. Uh, I started posting them again. Uh, I am a little bit behind on those, but they should be, they should be able to start going up tomorrow. Um, and I can finally get my, let my PC rest um, when I shower uh, tomorrow. Because I'll be, um, Everything's in the middle of uploading, and I'm a bit scared that the upload will cancel itself if I shut down my PC. So, that's gonna happen to happen. I'll have to shut down my PC tomorrow night or something. Yeah. So, thank you, Little Thieves, so much for coming to today's stream. I hope you enjoyed today's show. I was so sorry that you raided me right at the end there, not coming. <laughs> but thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. Um,. We're going to hunt for somebody right now. <laughs> uh, let's just... Uh, if you're not already in my Discord server... Do join the Discord server. Because if you're a sub in my channel, you get extra perks in my Discord server. So... Then follow me on my socials if you're so inclined. I swear to god I'm trying to get my commissions done so that I can... Um, give you guys some more content. Oh, I see. I see. I see you've just been enjoying the game then. Um, there's your raid message, everybody. And to those of you who don't have that emote, do... there's your raid message. Um, I see you've been enjoying the game then. Otherwise, you would have finished earlier, right? Um, I assume you were having fun anyways. <laughs> I hope you're having so much fun. Okay, um... It looks like someone that I haven't rated before is playing again. Some Genshin. Um, they looks like they just started. So we're gonna raid. We're gonna raid Red Rider. Um, they're playing Genshin right now, and they look like they're having some fun with the. They're testing the characters. Oh wait, no, they're doing a domain. Okay. <laughs> uh, it seems they're doing quite a bit. Alright. Thank you all once again so much for coming. And I'll see you, my little thieves. Tomorrow for Uno! I've invited Zero as well. We haven't seen him in a while. So we'll be there with Zero. Um, and Num and Wolfie from our Crab Game collab last Friday. So I hope to see you there. Bye!